What is up, guys? Zach in here. I am with Matt Camp from Deal Machine. And uh, for everyone who's ever watched my YouTube channel, uh, one of my first videos ever, I talked to uh, the founder of Deal Machine. And uh, he told me, I think, two, two and a half years ago how important drawing for dollars was. And this was when I was first starting drawing for dollars. And I want everyone to understand this. Like, I give a lot of credit to him. He's the one that really... I did a lot of drawing for dollars, but not really like, you know, starting out a little more like, mm -hmm. and, uh, he, he just told me, he's like, just if you do it in your business, do 400 leads, get a deal every time. And I kind of, after that conversation I had with him, uh, I, I think I was 19. Uh, it was crazy. And then I started implementing more and more and, uh, eventually, and I've used every, I, I'll just be honest. I don't know Matt's here, but like <laughs> I've tried every drawing for dollars app out there. I've tried every single one. And honestly, I think Matt knows this too. You can drive for dollars by yourself. You don't have to have an app. You can do a pen and paper. You do all this stuff, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but honestly, what I could tell you is like hands down, pound for pound, the best drawing for dollars app service type thing out there is Deal Machine. Uh, and honestly, that's what I want to talk about today. Like how to use Deal Machine, how it works. And if you're serious about drawing for dollars, right? It is hands down the cheapest, most effective way to get deals. And it is still today super underrated. And guys, if you just put your head down and you spend maybe even a hundred bucks a month, like at most for gas money, software all this, like you can easily do 30, 40, 50 K a year. And it's hands down the best one uh, when it comes to building up a scaling system, deal machine. So like if you're trying to get your first deal, I, I always recommend deal machine. If you want to get your thousandth deal and you have a team of drawing for dollars for you, deal machines got you covered. So that's what I want to talk about today. That's what I'm going to break down. Uh, so I'm excited. So uh, without yeah. further ado, I want Matt to kind of uh, break down what Deal Machine is, what we're talking about, and everything like that. Absolutely, man. Yeah, and uh, one uh, love to be on here. Love the energy you bring. Always have loved your your content, and like the the fact that you give away everything free is is awesome, man. Like I love uh, love what you're doing. So uh, keep keep being you. <laughs> but awesome, man. Uh, you know, th thanks again for having me on. I know, like you said, I mean, you know, the idea of driving for dollars, the idea of going and finding off market deals like this. I mean, we didn't, we did not come up with that. That's been around forever. That's a tried and true proven process. And you can do it. Like you said, you can do it with, you know, going out and pen and paper and all of that. Um, but you know, that that's why we created this technology. That's why David had that idea is to give you tools to make that process just so much easier, so much more efficient and effective and really help you scale that. So um, yeah, super excited to talk today. I know your community, I mean, I know you guys are ready to learn, ready to take action. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll really give a deep dive today. I know our mission in general is to give everyone the power of real estate investing. You know, that is our one line. Hey, everything that we do in terms of creating the product, in terms of how we evolve it, um, that's what we're focused on. So a lot of our decision making is focused on, okay, how do we help you go from zero to one? Like, how can we help you give you the tools to be the fastest process from going from zero to one and through through building a list, through marketing that list, through uh, following up with that list until you close deals, like you said, and and do it in a way that's the most cost effective way possible. So um, that's our mission. I mean, we've been around, um, like you said, since, you know, uh, I know we started originally like 2016, 17, going into 18 was when uh, people started to find out about us. We, we've had about 200,000 people download the app at this point. Um, we're definitely... Uh, really proud and hang our hat on the fact that we're the highest rated and most reviewed app out there for real estate investors. So in terms of what makes us different, we really try to rely on our customers to say like, Hey, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're, they're sp spreading the word and sharing, uh, you know, uh, you know, the, the quality of work for you right there. But, um, we've had, uh, you know, on our own, on our own YouTube channel, um, a couple hundred people we brought on at this point to talk about deal machine and talk about really like here are the deals that they landed. And, and a lot of the stuff I share today, like the pro tips we'll go into and really deep dive into it's from them. It's from the people who are out there every day landing deals in every single state in the U S we've had somebody do a deal at this point. Um, so I'll, I'll share a lot of those pro tips, a lot of those best practices. And now more than ever, like, you know, it's an exciting time to be in this man. Like it is a, uh, you know, it, it is a, uh, you know, a time where, Hey, anytime there's a slowdown, anytime there's any kind of downturn, that means there's more distress out there. And as investors or wholesalers, our goal is we want to solve that distress. We come in and can solve problems for people using speed, using convenience, using cash. And we're more valuable now whenever the, the market's uncertain than any other time. So um, I want to give you really the ultimate deep dive today, help you use strategies that are the most cost effective strategy for wholesaling 
and um, really get out there and then, uh, you know, excited to be here, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. And the best part about this is you don't need no guru to learn drying for dollars. It's really simple. Like it's not as people really, and I, I don't want to get into like with you, but like there's people that sell courses on how to drive for dollars. And between you and me, it's all about just finding ugly looking houses and just having conversations with them. You'll get deals, right? And before we get into like deal machine, like I, I always say everyone like deal machine is just a software. It's just a tool, right? Like mm -hmm. you can go out here and do, you know, 10 deals on drying for dollars without deal machine, right? It's like using a shovel for digging. It's just going to make it a lot easier. It's not going to like, it's not going to dig for you. You still got to pick up that shovel and do it, mm -hmm. which just makes the job a lot easier. And that's on, yeah. honestly the point. So. Yeah, for sure. I mean, and that's, you know, using that shovel, I mean, that's what makes driving for dollars such a powerful strategy to begin with is that it takes some work. Like you have to go out there, you have to earn that list. You have to go out and you're built using your own kind of sweat equity to get, to get out there. And, you know, you're finding those properties that are the ugly houses. They're the ones that are, you know, have signs of physical distress. They have a, you know, tarp on the roof or, or gutters falling off or, um, you know, board up windows, or maybe they, they are uh, just out of date. They've got a window AC unit. They've got, um, you know, things like hey, you know, a super overstuffed mailbox or really overgrown grass to show you that for whatever reason, the owner of that property just isn't keeping up with the physical appearance of it. And that is the number one indicator of a motivated seller. Like th that is the number one indicator to say, hey, we could have a, somebody who's looking to sell right now. And they're also the least competitive leads out there as well, because you earned that list. Like you can't just go and pull a list of, you know, dr of uh, driving for dollars leads of, of you know, houses with a, a tarp on the roof, you know, uh, through any kind of software. Like, there's no data out there to do that. Like you need to go out there and find those properties yourself, find those those diamonds in the rough. Um, and it's something as well, like David himself, I mean, you know, why deal machine was even started is uh, his you know, quick story for you guys. I know David, he was new to Indianapolis. He, he um, I've known David forever. We grew up in St. Louis together. I'm still in St. Louis here, but when he moved to Indy, uh, he was, you know, he knew like uh, that the real estate in general, because he had read Rich Dad Poor Dad. He had listened to podcasts. He was listening to things like this where he knew like, Hey, real estate is the most powerful wealth generating tool out there. So he knew at some point he wanted to get into it, but he didn't know where to start. He didn't know where to, how to get involved. He didn't know where to go find that first deal. And he would go to meetups in Indianapolis. He would start to try to network locally. And over and over again, he heard this driving for dollars term of like, Hey, go out, build a list of ugly houses of houses that need some love and care. And you know, those are the, those are the properties that are likely to sell you like go directly to those owners. And he started to try to do that himself. He, you know, he got in his car, he would drive around, he'd look for those properties and, you know, he'd take a pencil and paper and write down the address and try to, you know, look up more info about that owner to figure out like, hey, what's the situation with this property? Is it, you know, what, what's, is it absence he owned? You know, what, what's going on with it? Um, and then he would figure out, okay, cool, this is a good lead. Let me send a, you know, a, a postcard to them or let me try to reach out to them in some way. And he realized as he was driving around, he would create a list of properties that were really, really solid because, you know, he uh, uh, knew that like he was doing the right thing and he, and, he, and he knew like, hey, this is the strategy that I keep getting recommended. And then he also found out like six months later, 12 months later, when he hadn't landed a deal yet, he, you know, he was looking and, and all these houses were selling and he's like, man, I, why, why aren't they selling to me? Like, what can I do to get better at this strategy? I'm building the right list, you know, it's the right leads, but how do I do this more effectively, more efficiently? And that's where him founding Deal Machine came from was to be able to be way more effective when driving around and not to double back on his routes and to follow up with people many, many times, not just one time and to save him time in the whole process and to use data to look up and make sure it's a really good lead. So he would go through all that himself. He created Deal Machine version one for himself. Um, you know, he was going into real estate. Like, again, he didn't just didn't know where to start. He you know, had took in a lot of information to say how hey, you should be doing this, but he just didn't know that playbook of how to get rolling. And, you know, creating Deal Machine, he ended up building a portfolio of, of 10 properties, uh, over a million and a half dollars in equity, um, five figures of cash flow um, through that entire process, um, built his own financial freedom. And as he was doing that, he had all these buddies that, that he was talking to about real estate that would say, hey, you know, how are you doing this? Like, what, what can I be doing too to, to go build my, you know, to go find these deals that you're doing? And, you know, that's where he put Deal Machine on the App Store and had version one out there. And it's really evolved since. So I um, just want to give people a little bit of context on like, hey, here's where we're coming from and the journey we've been on today. So awesome. Well, let's get into it. Let's kind of break it all down.
Awesome, man. So, um, are you able to share my screen here? I, I know I, yeah, I think uh, it pops up. So, yeah, there we go. That's why, guys, you do see the link on the uh, bottom here, um, mm -hmm. dmzac.com. So, if you want to try out it for free, I always tell our people, you know, just try it out for free. You don't have to buy it. I just always try it out because mm -hmm. there are a lot of softwares out there, but I always recommend just try it out. Like, even if you don't want to like use it, I would just try it and see because you could find some really good deals uh, just from trying that out and uh, get you some deals. So, yep. Yeah. It's seven day free trial. And then if you go through that, I mean, you're going to get uh, $30 in credits, um, um, you know, which is, I mean, that covers quite a bit of skip tracing postcards, all of that inside the app as well, which you wouldn't get normally just going through our website. So I um, wanted to hook you guys up and make sure that you were set up. Traces would that be? You know? Yeah. I, we will definitely get into that. <laughs> okay, let's get it. I'll, I'll, free uh, deals you can get. Cause honestly, <laughs> probably get your fr first deal in a week. If you really put pedals in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, if you can, uh, we've, I mean, we've had people on our YouTube channel who it was literally the fourth house they called, they, they landed the contract. And came so it, it can happen. I mean, if you want to set yourself for long-term success, uh, what I show you today in the systems and processes that I show you today, like this is how you do this for sustained su success, right? Not just one, one off deal where you happen to talk to the right person at the right time. But if you want to do deals, you know, every single month, um, then, Hey, you know, this is the stuff that the pros are doing to do that. So, awesome. um, yeah, Let's get into it. Awesome. So to kind of begin with, and, and, uh, I'll, I'll pull this up here. I'm in the drive tab right here. <laughs> Assuming you have deal machine already. Um, assuming you're out there ready to drive, um, you know, to, just to give a, a quick heads up to we've got a mobile app as well. So we've got the mobile app and then here's the desktop version. They look extremely similar. Um, the mobile app, uh, really, really easy where you pull up the, the map just like this as well. Um, but where I really recommend people start is before they even get out there and, you know, spend any time driving around or, or, or getting out there to, to figure out like how to drive for dollars. Um, if you have, you know, we have one thing within our, our uh, data and one feature here. If you have this highlights feature unlocked, highly, highly recommend starting here just because you can use data to really help you get started and really help you know, hey, what are the areas of town that are really likely to have these motivated sellers? So, yes, definitely. You know, I don't want to give you too many loops to, hoops to jump through. Like, it's great to go out and just drive your own neighborhood because you know what a deal looks like there best. You know what a, a house looks like that stands out from other other houses like this. But um, if you have the ability to start on your desktop and use this, this highlights feature, this is a way to really use data to, to inform you on, hey, here's where I should be going. So um, if I hit the highlights button right here to start off, Zach, um, going into this, you know, I will use this as a way to really, you know, uh, essentially filter out properties around you and find great neighborhoods that can help you kind of plan your route and help you get, you know, before you get in your car and before you start driving. So, um, you know, looking at this, a couple of, you know, uh, immediately a couple of things I can point out, you've got a lot of quick list filters right here. So you've got things like, Hey, vacant properties or, you know, properties in the foreclosure process or properties pr probably owned by investors because the owner of multiple properties or um, properties that, you know, absentee, um, even fun things that are new now, like zombie properties, assumable mortgages, senior owner, you know, all kinds of quick lists here. Um, and starting here, I mean, even just going in, if you just simply start off, create a highlight and say, hey, yeah, like let's let's find houses that were, were year built uh, before 1992. So you know that it's at least a 30 year old home just because it gives you a higher opportunity to go find a property that needs some love and care that needs some needs some updating. Um, you know, you can go through that. You can say, hey, yeah, show me properties that have a calculated value of, you know, greater than 150 K. I'm in St. Louis. So that's a pretty good baseline here. Yep. I got enough zeros there. Cool. And you're just adding on these filters and you can get really specific, or I like to keep it pretty broad where I can put those two things on and then also say, Hey, show me a property type of single family home. We're going to be looking for single family here. So if I confirm all those things and then hit apply, apply highlights, you're going to see a ton of highlights already start to pop up in neighborhoods that fit that criteria. Right? So this is a great way to start off and show you like, yeah, this, this area of town, they're older houses, they're houses that fit that particular criteria and they're houses that are single family homes. So I know, hey, these are all properties that, you know, which I've got a lot of, here we go, we got the filters going on. If I drive through this neighborhood, if I drive through this neighborhood, all of these different blocks right here, this is a really a great part of town for me to start driving around because they have houses that, you know, have been, are they're a little older, they've got some meat on the bone to wholesale them because they're worth at least 150K and they're single family. So, um, 
Zach, are there are there any other filters that you really look at right away of saying like, yeah, like this is a good buy box or a good? Uh... Yeah, I mean, honestly, what I could tell you is uh, we can kind of this, get in this a little later with reverse drawing for dollars. <laughs> but there we my go. Biggest no, secret um, for drawing for dollars, which I found really good places, is if you can find pockets where you've already done deals. Mm-hmm. I've always found deals are really close to each other. Yep. Like I did, I did one really good deal on a code violation, right? And I just drive for dollars uh, around that area where that code violation was. You can pick off like two or three more deals. And yep. when I was doing direct mail, I found most of my deals came from like only three zip codes, like 80% of them. And yep. so when I have my team drawing for dollars, they only use those zip codes because 80% of all the deals are in there. It's insane. Um, yep. You can't really pull a list of that, right? You got to do some deals first. But in my opinion, that's the best spot because they're really hot areas too. So if you could find places where you see your competition doing a lot of deals, mm-hmm. I'd go after those zip codes and go after them. Then when you're in that zip code, I can go after the vacants. I can go after high equity. I can go after there. But uh, we're, when it comes to the top ones, uh, a lot of your cash buyers too, right? Like we're talking about in this market where a lot of cash buyers are getting a little more pickier. Some like in St. Louis, they mm-hmm. might not want to be in a high crime area. They, they just don't. And so they're like, don't do this zip code, or this zip code, but I really like this area. Okay, Roger that. So if my cash buyer really likes the zip code in St. Louis, let's find an ugly house there. I get the deal under contract and know exactly how to sell it to them. Yeah. Um, that's what I really like. But love those tips. Yeah. Yeah. Like combining fun. combining what cash buyers are telling you and then data to put those two together to say, hey, here's what a good property looks like. And here's a here are the areas that we're already buying in. Um, that's especially in this market, really, really good place to start. You're kind of reverse engineering that to listen to what the investors are doing. Um, to listen, to look at where deals are happening, where activity is already happening, and then start driving in those areas. So um, love that. Make sure to use the highlights filter if you can to be able to combine those two things together and, and you know, find properties that fit fit their buy box in areas that activity is happening. So um, love that. Um, you know, I won't, I won't mess with the mobile app here for you guys today, but the desktop, again, it's very, very similar. And once you've done this, once you've gone out you know, gone, gone in the desktop version, looked, you know, done those highlights, figured out exactly where you're going to go. Um, essentially where you can go from there is you can pull out, pull out your phone, you know, pull out the mobile app there. Everything that you do on the phone syncs to the desktop as well. So everything you're doing here is going to sync to your phone and, you know, vice versa. Um, and really going, going here, it locks onto your location. So if you have the mobile app pulled up, um, I got the mobile, I'll show everyone the mobile app after I got my iPad here. Oh yeah, there uh, we go. Love show you guys after. Yeah, perfect. So, uh, it locks on your location just like that. So you'll see your blue dot pop up right here. And as you drive down the street, it'll drive. Oh, I think this thing paused for a second, but oh, there um, you go. You're good. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So the satellite view up here in, in this map, this top left button map options. Uh, a lot of people like that too. It makes it a little easier to, to see the specific houses, right? But um, I'll stick to this kind of standard grid view for this. But going down the street, you're, you know, it locks on your location and drives with you like this. And really you see, you know, as you're driving for dollars, you're getting to know your market. The whole point is that you're looking for physically distressed properties. Um, you can use this and, and just within the, the map in general, you'll see these blue pins pop up, right? Those pins are ones that I've added as a lead already. So those are all properties. I've, I've been in this area quite a bit of St. Louis, but um, you know, if you drive down, you know, you'll be able to, to drive around and see these blue dots pop up as you add the leads. And you'll see also these, these blue dots right here. You got the blue, blue pins for the lead. Blue dot is also properties that have an MLS status. So let me find one. Here we go. That, so it's had an MLS status within the last 12 months. And this is data that we have for literally every single state. So not disclosure states, everything included. Um, you can go in here and see uh, this one was sold and you can click into it and see, okay, this was sold in 2021. You can see the listing price stays on market. You can see more about the listing agent, all of that. So um, you can use this as a way to, to also kind of filter out leads if you want to stay off market or see properties that have you know recently sold and avoid those, right? Um, but you know, the, the simple as it can, as it can be, it locks on your location. You drive down the street and you just see all these properties popping up around you as you're driving around. Um, so as you do that, you drive through here again, you're looking for the houses that have, you know, the, the, you know, the, the siding falling off gutters in, in rough condition, you know, windows or roof in rough condition, um, you know, weeds through the concrete, uh, you know, even, even things like I'll use this, this, uh, um, example a little bit, 
uh, one of our first hires, he got, he was practicing what we preach using deal machine, got his first deal. And it was a property that had Halloween decorations up and it was like March. <laughs> oh yeah. So like, you know, things like that, just for whatever reason, that owner just isn't keeping up with it. Right. So, I, yeah, mm -hmm. I'll tell you this, like, I've always found this drawing for dollars and you let me know if it's true, but like, if there's even something that seems off, mm -hmm. just put it on, just, it's better to have that than not yep. because I've had so many deals where like one little weird thing was off and that was the thing that just showed it up, you know? Um, so yeah, yeah. like a little Santa Claus out there, like something that seems weird, just add it on. It doesn't matter. Yep. Absolutely. I, I would say definitely be a little, be more liberal with just with those leads of, of what qualifies as a distress, you know? Um, but as you're going through this, you know, you see all these black dots pop around you. So say I see, you know, 5503 roads, um, might be a, you know, say it's a rundown property. Okay, cool. I click on that, on that particular property can look and see, okay, Hey, it's corporate owned and not great e equity. Probably not the an ideal lead there. Yeah, it was um, 2021 too. Yeah, exactly. So if, if you're, if you're driving down the street here there, let me, let me turn this for you guys. Um, you know, if you click on, you know, 5518 roads here. Awesome. Uh, this one's got good equity. This one's sold in 2003. You know, this could be a good lead. If you if you saw this being physically distressed, uh, you know, uh, you know, as you drive around is a physically distressed property. I always look at recent sale date, um, look at owner type. So is it owner occupied? Is it absentee? You know, is it vacant? What's the what's the you know, the the uh, the owner information about that property? Like what's the owner type? And then look at the equity percentage. So all those things combined up at the top here are a really good way to help kind of qualify that lead as you hit, as you hit add lead. And, you know, as you drive down the street, you just hit add lead, boom, you've got that pop up right there and on to the next one. So simple as that you're tagging them as you go. Um, you know, I, I uh, also highly recommend as you add those leads, if it's a, if it's a house that um, is a higher level of distress or, you know, it fit your highlight or is one that you want to really focus on, spend more time on, um, another quick pro tip for you is really adding tags to those leads. Yeah. And, you know, within the mobile app, it's really easy to do that. You can just see the tags pop up right away and you can hit add tag, but hitting that right there, you can mark that as high priority. And that way, you know, whenever you jump into work, your lead list later, which I'll show you here in a, in a few minutes, um, that entire process, you can, you know, then organize your leads and say, Hey, show me all the high priority leads that I've tagged. And that's where you know where to start. That's where, you know, mm -hmm. to really focus your time. Okay. Um, you know, going through this as well, I would say the, the list of leads that we're, you know, creating right here is we're going down the street and, you know, tagging properties here. These are all property. These are all leads that are going to show up now in the mobile app as well. So, you know, if I'm on desktop, if I'm on mobile and I'm going through this, you know, they instantly sync up at all times. So everything you're doing here, you're doing there and you're building the best list out there on both at the same time. You know, you're, you're finding those physically distressed leads, which, you know, again, is the number one indicator of a motivated seller. Um, you're finding the, the leads that have way less competition because you're, you're out there actually building this list that no one else has that makes it way more likely that it doesn't have other people bombarding them with offers. Right. Um, and you know, you're taking this proven process and using tech to, to save you time and, and do more deals and bigger deals. So, um, wanted to start there. Is there any questions popping in Zach that I, you know, I'm uh, happy to answer a few before I get into the, the virtual D4D stuff. Yeah, I'll get into it. But like, I mean, one thing I could always tell everyone when you're drawing for dollars, like I, I think one of my favorite parts about this, and mm -hmm. I, I've said it a million times, but it's like no one else can buy this list. You have to earn it, which I heard you say before. I've been screaming it forever, but like so many people are in Phoenix. Some parts of St. Louis can get a little bit saturated too. Uh, people are out here in like parts of California, uh, Atlanta. They always go like, Zach, it's just so annoying. Everybody says to pull this list from the service and then just cold call it. And I got to spend 4K uh, in, you know, I had to spend 4K in skip tracing, spend all this crazy money. Like everyone complains like, oh, I got to pay gas money. I'm like the amount of gas money you spend and the amount of work you have to do. Like you're all, when you pull 500 drawing for dollars leads, that's equal to pretty much 5,000 calls. And it's going to take less time. It's going to cost less money. And it's less headache. It just, yep. You're doing less work for more. And so like if anybody's watching this right now and they're like, oh, I'm so sick of this market. There's too many people, guys. That's good because there's a lot of buyers. But, like nobody's willing to do it. And I think that's a problem a lot of people have. Like they're just not willing to do the work. This is so much easier. And like have a good time with this, right? Like I used to drive for dollars. Uh, I remember when I was in – um. I was coming back and I was kind of getting back into drawing for dollars. That's what I was talking to uh, 
uh, David. I remember Travis Scott dropped his Astro World album, and I was so excited for it. <laughs> and so I made it a thing. Like I wanted to listen to him. I'm like, you know what? No, I'm gonna listen to the entire album. But when I listen to it, I'm gonna drive for dollars. And it was fun. I had a great time. Love it. Like, you just have to have a good time while you're doing this. I Absolutely. think a lot of people make it like, oh, this is work, 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 guys. Like, have fun while you do it. Do yep. something you never like, like want to enjoy, and then enjoy it while doing it. And it's, it's, it, it's amazing, guys. But yeah. uh, let's see some questions we got really quick. Yeah, I, I see some good ones in the chat, and, and that's a really good tip too. Just like having fun. I mean, that's gonna go go a long way. Like, you, we see people who, I mean, they will listen to podcasts and stuff while they drive for dollars. Like they're learning as they do this. We see people who go with their family and it's literally like family time at, while they're also driving for dollars. And it's a whole family unit, like looking out for, for stuff. We see people like, like you said, you know, uh, listen to whatever, whatever new albums drop, like they uh, have some fun while you do this. So um, the yeah. The, uh, uh, so I can answer. Oh, here we go. How long is the free trial? A good question. It's seven days. Um, so if you use that promo code now, or if you just do dmzack.com right there, um, that'll be the seven day free trial to try all this stuff out. Um, if you stick around to the end today, you know, when I'm done through all of this stuff, we do have a special offer that I can share just with, with Zach's people of saying like, Hey, you know, because I know you guys are ready to take action and really for the people who want to like fully commit and invest in themselves, like I'll give them a, a you know, an option there at the end. But if you're just trying it out, then hey, just go to dmzack.com and seven days free and you know give it a try. So, um, um, does the machine have access to the Maricopa County home owner information? Yeah, yeah, we've got I mean, Phoenix is, I mean, every single state we've got MLS yeah. data. Um, I saw someone ask about that. Um, when you skip trace, you can skip trace one off or skip trace in bulk and deal machine. Um, I saw that as a question, um, as well. So, um, you've got a couple different options, and we'll I'll show off the skip trace in the mail and all that for you guys here too in just a minute, but. I'm um, just getting started here. Excited to do the full deep dive for you. <laughs> so well, what I want to do is I, I, I want to break this down too. Um, mm -hmm. If I don't know if it's got to be in the app or something, but like if I, one of my favorite reverse drawing for dollars things is mm -hmm. I don't know if we're on that yet, but like I love reverse drawing for dollars, the pre foreclosures just yep. because they're so motivated and it just mm -hmm. gets bombarded with texts. And there's like, it's really hard to get a pre foreclosure deal until you start reverse drawing for dollars. Yeah. So if I just want to like pull a list or let's say for example, I have a code violation list or a probate list. How yeah. do I put that into deal machine so I can reverse drive for dollars that? Yeah, love that. So so your first option is physical driving for dollars. Like that's one way you can go about doing this. Yeah. Second option is the reverse D for D. Like I, I love uh, that strategy in general. And that's, it's something that I think the people who are willing to go that extra step and, and be able to, you know, physically, you know, contact people through either a sticky note or a door knock or anything in person like that. Um, the response rates to those are phenomenal. So, um, you know, to be able to go through that, if you hit this leads button up here, right? So you've got drive that I just showed off. And th this is, again, very, very similar to this in the mobile app. Um, but you've got the drive, you know, drive map right there, leads right there. Um, say you have, you know, any kind of outside list, you know, whether it be, you know, you can pull a list, which I can show that off briefly here too, but you can pull a list of pre foreclosures in a certain area. You can hit and, uh, um, and, and have a list of that, you know, inside a deal machine itself, or like we were talking about here, you can hit add leads and import list right there. And that import list button, that can be any list from anywhere that you've, you know, bought through any way or built in any way. And when you import that, it'll open up a list inside deal machine. So let me, Here's an example, expired listings. Um, you know, I've got 15 properties right here in Phoenix, actually. So talking about Maricopa Can County. Um, and when you see do that, you see this drive this list button on the right side. That is your reverse D for D. It's that is how you, time. yeah, that's <laughs> how you go in. Yep. And then hit drive list. And man, that's going to be exactly what you're talking about there of like, uh, in the mobile app, it will import your GPS, right? You know, or import that uh, right into the app and tell you, hey, for these 15 properties, go here, then here, then here, then here, then here. And this, this is the fastest route possible to get to all of them. It'll take you roughly an hour, 20 minutes. And hey, you know, you're going to be able to hit up, uh, you know, every single, you know, if you're talking about pre foreclosure, like that's that's the way to do it. That's the way to make it really easy to get in front of every single one of those owners. Yeah, I, I say because these pre foreclosure leads, they get so many calls from loan shark companies, credit card companies. They don't answer when you try to call them. And that's mm -hmm. kind of a foundation of drawing for dollars is there's cold call on that list. But the problem is if this person's getting bombarded with like a debt collective service, they, they don't answer their phones. So it, it's, it's absolutely amazing. So uh, that's how you do that. Uh, my other question is before we get in the virtual yeah. drawing for dollars, because I want just yeah. for my drawing for dollars people, and I'm going to twist your arm on this. <laughs> you you see a lot of people that I'm just being honest suck at drawing for dollars 
say deal machine is the worst and it, it doesn't work because they just don't put in the work and you see the people that just make so much money with it. Right. What's mm -hmm. the biggest difference in your opinion on people that are really successful with it and the ones that just don't. Yeah, that's a really good question. So I, I would say really, honestly, it's, it's not rocket science. It's really, it's the people who put the processes in place and commit to those processes where they actually put in enough leads, they follow up enough times, they're actually, you know, building a really substantial list and marketing to those people where, you know, whenever you don't have success with a strategy like this, it's typically because you just did, you gave up a little early, like you didn't put in the work that's needed to get to that lead. And we'll see people, I mean, you talked about 400 leads, that's a pretty good barometer for most cities. I mean, if you're in a super competitive city, like even a Phoenix, it might be a couple times more than that. But yeah. if you're in most cities, you're looking at you know, a couple hundred leads up to 400 leads or so, where if you go out there, you build that list, it's truly qualified leads because it's physically distressed houses. You know, again, that's the number one indicator. And then you market to them. When we look at our data, if you send one marketing piece to somebody, um, and it's even if it's a good lead that's going to sell, you're actually missing out on that deal 81% of the time because yeah. you just didn't catch them at the right time. Like you didn't follow up enough to be the one that's top of mind that when they are ready to sell and when they do have a really acute need and are actually motivated that they didn't reach out to you first because, you know, they, they have, you know, maybe other people are reaching out or maybe they have other options or things like that. So it's, you know, being able to, to reach out multiple times. If you only do it once, you're missing out on the, you know, over 80% of, the, of deals. If you reach out three times, you're still missing out on looking at the data, 51% of deals, like over half of deals, it takes more than three touch points to do this. So the people that are really successful, it's they've built a good list of leads. They put you know processes in place to consistently get out there and start driving. And whether it's they themselves or somebody else for them in their app, like is driving and adding leads for, and, you know, creating this list. And then they're consistently marketing to them you know, we recommend six to 12 times. Um, but you know, as many times as you can to really make sure that, Hey, you're, you're, uh, you're getting on their radar and you're the one that they think of when the time is right. Perfect. And then I, mm -hmm. I see you guys talk about all the time, like reaching out to these leads, right? You got direct mail, mm -hmm. calling, text blasting, reverse drawing for large, like all this, like, yeah. which one do you think works the best and which one do you think like is not, you should probably avoid. Yeah. So I, I think, um, What's interesting, you know, in terms of response rates, um, and this can be kind of all over the board, I, I think um, our most successful people that we see, it's really, they're doing a creative mix of things. So, yeah. you know, having just one touch point, going uh, only with one, one strategy, like if you just do mail, if you just do text, if you just do call, um, you're missing out on a lot of people because people respond in different ways and people res respond to different marketing where you might have, um, you know, somebody who's going to respond to a text, but they're not going to respond to a postcard or vice versa. Somebody who responds to a postcard, not, not going to respond to a cold call or might not trust that. So our most successful investors, they're doing a combination of things. They're doing what we really call is this marketing mix where they're doing short term marketing, meaning something that you can get you know, a quick turnaround, quick feedback response to like a call, a text, a door knock, um, you know, uh, uh, things like that, where you're immediately getting feedback from somebody. And then they're also combining that with long term outreach, which is automated marketing that drips over time. So that way you stay top of mind. And that's like sending a postcard once a month to somebody And that way. And you can set it and forget that. Like you can do that inside a deal machine where you hit send postcard, say send this once a month. I'll, I'll show that to you guys here in a minute. But uh, you can send that once a month and that way it's going to drip over time. And doing those two things in combination is going to give you the best chance. Um, I know like uh, just from a pure response rate perspective, I think text, uh, you know, might be a little saturated um, as of now. But um, I think in general, like the, the, the best answer is, I would say, doing a mix of things and doing it on a consistent long term basis. So awesome. And then. Mm -hmm. Uh, one thing on a selfish perspective, right? Because I, we kind of uh -huh. like know exactly how to do the team thing. And I, I tell a lot of people to do it, but like, I mm -hmm. honestly really haven't utilized, like you guys have like this crazy, like recruitment portal and like driving, yeah. like teaching thing. I don't I haven't even really been through it too much just because yeah. I'm like, Hey, here's the app. Just go do it for me. But like, yeah. how does that work? Because obviously if someone's looking to scale a little more, right? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that would be if you're um, and I would say if you're more like you said, scaling more like the more uh, experienced investor side or somebody who's ready to like yeah. really invest in a bigger team. Um, we do have a teams option on Deal Machine where um, you essentially get, uh, like you said, a recruitment a recruitment landing page. So it generates a link for you. That's a landing page that's a, that basically pitches the idea of joining and driving for dollars for you. So you can post that link anywhere online and, and post it in you know, uh, Facebook groups of, of, of like, Hey, looking for side jobs in St. Louis or, you know, people who, you know, share it with people who are Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, you know, their Instacart, their Amazon, they're out there already driving. Um, so you have a, a landing page link that says like, Hey, here's what driving for dollars is apply here. And if they fill out that page, then you get an email saying, Hey, they're ready. You know, here's contact them. Now they're ready to, you know, ready to join your team on deal machine. And then we also have under that teams, uh, teams plan, you can share um, essentially their training videos. So you could say, hey, yeah, okay, I've got this application from somebody. I get in touch with them. I say, hey, I'm gonna send you a link to train up and onboard into Deal Machine. And they go through that link, they'll get a series of training videos that by the time they're done with it, they know exactly how to drive, where to drive, what to look for, basically be ready to go. It's like a starter kit, you know, right out of the box. And they get onboarded into your app and they can just start adding, adding leads for you. now. Um, they won't market to those leads. They won't like, uh, you know, skip trace or send mail or anything like that, but they're going to start, you know, they'll be ready to go and start building that list for you. So. Okay. And I know I can add users on it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so just for, for someone who's got like maybe an acquisitions manager, like a couple mm -hmm. of them like me, like, Hey, you're out on this deal, drive for dollars on your free time or something like for like what, 19, 20 bucks, you can add another user, right? Yeah. And it, I know our starter plan I mean, that you get one user there, our pro plan, you get five. So you can actually yeah. you know, start adding some drivers. Um, and then if you do our, like the, 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 the recruitment and all of that funnel, you know, that plan, the team's plan like that, that upgrade, um, you can have up to a hundred drivers. So you can, yeah. you can get out there and build a whole army if you want. So, which we do have people doing that, but um, it's crazy. But, yeah. uh, yeah, if you are guys looking to scale up, like I see so many people trying to scale a big cold calling operation or, uh, SMS text blasting, but like, yeah. it's really effective because like just think of the power of one person hustling if you get like 10 people doing it for you they don't yeah. have to be as good as you. it doesn't take a rocket scientist to find the ugly house like i i get my sister to do it right like and she doesn't do real estate but like i can get any of my buddies to start doing it. i pay them 15 20 bucks an hour good to go right um so yeah mm -hmm. i've been telling everyone to do that i've been even telling people like hey if you're really good at closing find something that's kind of nervous to talk to sellers and just have them drive for dollars and split the deal Yep. It just anything you do to get it. So, uh, yeah, I love it. Yeah. I love that. I love that using your strengths, like you said, and have people go out and you know drive for you. If you're, if you're comfortable, like calling or, or, or getting in touch with the seller and talking yourself, like you could, it's an easy way to pitch and be a great combo there. And we see people, they either pay, you know, hourly for a driver, they might pay per deal. They might pay per lead even, um, where you can go in and, and check the quality of leads that they're, that they're putting in the deal machine. Um, that's one other pro tip. Like when you add a lead on, on the map right there, it actually prompts you to take a picture of that property too. And that picture, that's something that's going to appear on the postcard. If you, if you actually send direct mail to that person, um, to that, to that particular, uh, you know, seller. Right. Um, and you know, when they take a picture, if you, if you hire somebody to go drive and they're taking pictures for you, that's a really easy way to just validate. Oh, that's a good lead. Let me send mail to it. Um, cause you can see in the picture, oh, it's physically distressed. Um, so awesome. Um, Cool, cool. So, uh, yeah, lo love the questions. You want any other questions? Or you want me to jump into the virtual stuff? Or um, let me see a couple more questions. We can get into it. Um, yeah, go for it. Um, let's see. Is there anything that pop up on you? Um, yeah, they've got. I, I think a lot of people have questions about the list polling because there's yeah. obviously other softwares that do it. Yep. Um, how could you say? Do you have people like pulling lists from there, doing doing regular cold calling, text blasting, like? Mm -hmm. Uh, from there, right? Yeah, we have people who use the list builder as well. I think they're most powerful in tandem. So they're most powerful if you're doing driving for dollars by getting out there, adding leads any you know any way you can, whether it's you, whether it's another driver that you hire, you know, building your list that way. And then if you add list builder onto that, which um, Zach, you want me to show that off really quick? Yeah. Uh, okay. Pop here, it up here real quick. Do that. Uh, and, you know, doing that that list builder in tandem with it. Really, list builder in general. Like this is something that we tell people. Hey, if you have more money, more resources, but less time. Like if you can't possibly find time to go out and drive or virtual drive, then this is a, a way you can just add a ton of leads that are, that could be really high quality and do it in literally 
60 seconds. <laughs> um, but the, the best, the best combination is if you're doing that list building, you know, list builder in tandem with driving for dollars. So that way you're kind of getting the best of both worlds of the, you know, the original list that you built yourself, the sweat equity list that, that, you know, uh, uh, you know, is going to be less competitive and, and more motivated in addition to these broader lists that just take, you know, that can be really, really quick to get access to. Um, so, you know, this list builder, you can see it up here as well, or right here, but if you just click list builder, simply pops up right here and you've got, uh, you know, literally thousands of data points that you can jump into. You've got, you know, the foreclosure types, vacant, absentee, expired, um, again, some fun newer, uh, filters down here, um, like the senior owner, zombie, you know, uh, properties, assumable mortgage, things like that. Um, you know, you can create your own filter. So you can come in here and just say, Hey, yeah, I'll create my filter. I want to see, uh, you know, in whoever said, what was it? Maricopa County, right? Uh, Maricopa County. Cool. Let's look in the entire County and let's look for properties that, you know, are vacant. Uh, and that's going to be pretty massive probably. <laughs> so it's my take yeah. to, to calculate, but you can go in here and just right away, it's going to in real time show you, Hey, there's 10,000 leads that are vacant houses in Maricopa. Or you can come in here and if you've, uh, like you said, within St. Louis, if you're looking at a very specific area and you don't want to just pull that entire county, hey, start drawing, hit the draw tool, draw around this one specific, you know, a uh, couple blocks right here. And you can see, oh, there's five vacant leads right within that. And you can, you know, if you zoom in a little bit more, you can see those actual leads pop up in real time. So, you know, this is all stuff, everything that we do, every single property it updates daily. Um, I think I saw that question as well. Um, it, this data update updates daily as well. So, you know, whether it be, you know, through driving for dollars and you want to look at the owner and, and look at what's sold and all of that, or it be through list builder, like th these, these leads update daily and going through this, it's a smart list as well. So if you, you know, if say you went to a property that was, you know, absentee owned and, you know, high equity, let's look for, you know, equity here, equity percentage, uh, you know, greater than uh, 35, let's call it. Cool. Confirm. You've got 14 of those in this, in this area. Say that, you know, uh, one of them sell, it's no longer absentee. It's going to drop down to 13 automatically and it'll stop any mail you're sending to them. It'll, it'll make sure that you're, you're optimizing your time, optimizing your marketing budget and do that every single day. It's daily updating. So you can just pull that list, hit build list and simple as that. You know, you've got 14 leads right there that are, you know, within those two blocks and absentee owned high equity. And, and there you go. So you've, you've got a couple options here, how to, how to build that list within, uh, within deal machine like that. Awesome. All right. Let's see here. Yeah. yeah Try to um, pop this guy up. I talked to a guy on my podcast a while back, um, mm -hmm. Justin Peters. He, uh, I remember he was the only guy I've known besides um, me that scaled up a drawing for dog. He, I remember he did a hundred deals just off deal machine in a year this Love first it. year yeah it was like two or three years ago it was crazy but um there's a there's a guy um ryan haywood is his name he's out in northern north kansas city that we'll uh, have on our youtube channel every so often but it's him and his wife and he, he actually in in january 2020 he had zero real estate experience like he had yeah. never done anything in this space he tried a 30-day challenge and day two of that challenge was go download deal machine and yeah. since then, he's actually done over 400 deals using Deal Machine since January 2020. He's got uh, you know a team of seven now, drivers for him. Um, it's it's wild, man. So it's uh, it's fun to be able to share stories like that of people getting out there and like just taking the simple like he's he's not doing anything crazy. He's using the mail postcard templates that come yeah. preloaded in Deal Machine. Um, it's just he's putting in the work, he's putting in the processes, and he's using it. The, using the shovel to, to, to be able to, to dig like that. So, yeah, that's just what I'm trying to share. Like, I think a lot of people watch this and you know, they're, everyone tries to scale up to like kind of where I'm at, where everyone else is at. And they just think it's mm -hmm. like two paths. I want people to understand, like you add drawing for dollars on there. It's, it's going to be amazing. But I, was, I can't find this guy online anymore, but um, <laughs> yeah. So um, one thing really quick here, I saw somebody had a question about comps. Um, I can show that off too for you guys. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm, do, do you, uh, <laughs> I don't want to jump too far all over the place. Uh, I'm happy to still show the virtual stuff if you want, Zach, or yeah, I can jump the uh, comps real quick. Okay. That's fair. Um, so let's see, I've got, here we go. Leads right here. So if I just jump into my, my leads in it, and again, each different tab is a different list. You know, I can import any kind of list that I, that I want here. 
um, you know, just open that list right here and you'll see them continue to pop up. And again, you can drive that list to, to reverse D for D and, you know, leave sticky notes, door knock, all that stuff on it. Um, but as you go through this here, each individual lead, you know, the goal here is, you know, yes, you want to drive for dollars. You want a virtual drive for dollars. You want to, um, you know, reverse drive for dollars. You want to list build you or use list builder. You have all these ways to build a great list. You have skip tracing and mail to reach out to those people, which I'll do, show off exactly how to do that here in a second. Um, but once you're in the door, once you're in, in, you know, you've gotten through and you're actually talking to the seller at that point, like, hey, let's let's help you close the deal. And, you know, one way to do that and be extremely confident um, in the numbers that you're giving and in the breakdown of what their property is worth is through this comps button right here. So this is with every single individual or every single deal machine plan starter gets it and everything too. But when you look at a lead, you hit this comps button right here and you'll see immediately, and let me make this a little bigger for you. Um, and this is, looks exactly the same on the phone as well. Yeah. Um, that's probably one of the main differentiators between us and just anything else out there is that is mobile. Like everything we do is updated to really be optimized for mobile because we know you're out there driving. We know you're you know busy going from, you know, appointments and going on the go and you'll, you'll have a conversation. You need to pull the comps up right there. Like it's all looking like this on the phone too. Um, but as you go right here, you can go in and filter and say, yeah, show me all the comps, you know, from the last six months um, in this market, I'd probably say the last, you know, maybe, you know, a month or two, you know, I might adjust that. Um, you can say the range, you can say your bill, bed, bath, all of that. Use the MLS data, cool. And then go in and just hit start drawing and draw around my property right now, right here. And as you do that, you can see, okay, cool. I've got three comps pulled up um, in, a, you know, in a nice part of town here, but I got three comps pulled up. And you can see based on that, it'll automatically calculate and you can select and deselect those comps it'll automatically calculate the average dollars per square foot based on that, apply that to your property and then say, here's your estimated value based on those comps right around you. That's so beautiful. you can use that. Yeah. Right on the go. Um, one other thing, let's see if we can pull this up. So if you hit, uh, let's see, it depends on the market if you have access to this or not, but you've got, okay, those two don't, let's see if this one's got anything. Here we go. So you actually do have, um, this one's recently sold in April. You can click in, into a property here, hit view and pull up photos right here. And you can see all the MLS photos taking of that pro taken to that property right in the app too. So that's another way to be able to say, Hey, yeah, like here's what your property is worth. The ARV. Well, Hey, you've got, you know, 50 K a hundred K of work. That's got to be done, you know, based on these photos, like here's what, here's the property that they sold and it, what it was worth. All right, here's what you're, you know, here's, uh, you, know, you can do the math in front of them to show them, hey, here's, you know, here's the, the spread that we need to, that, that, that needs to be you know, discounted to be able to do that. So people use it as a really strong negotiating tool to look at days on market, to look at, you know, the, the uh, condition of a property and just do it on the go right in front of them on their phone and, and be extremely confident to know that you're, you're putting in a good offer um, and not going in blind. So I love it. I, I think this is most important if you're in a non disclosure state. Like Kansas, mm -hmm. Texas. I, I just that's probably the most powerful one because it's like, like, like any any Joe Schmo go to ZillowRealtor.com and look at it. But like, if you're in any of those states, you're kind of stuck, right? Uh, so I think that's going to be probably the most powerful part when it comes to like MLS access for comps. Uh, so mm -hmm. yeah, I just wanted to add that on there. Yeah, that's a really good, really good point too. But um, awesome, cool. Uh, let's see any, anything else, uh, on the, on the question side before I, uh, keep rolling for you guys or, um, not really. I mean, I've answered some of these questions before. Um, yeah. honestly, I'm getting questions with service and crop stream deal machine. It's all in freeholsting.com. They're just tools and some are similar, yeah. some overlap and some don't overlap. Um, but like, I just, I gotta say, if you're strictly doing drawing for dollars, if you're strictly kind of adding that stuff in there, which I think everyone should, uh, mm -hmm. it, it's gonna be the best one out there. Um, there's no ifs, ands, or buts around it. I found the skip tracing uh, between those two softwares are pretty much very similar. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't done any extensive like crazy tests with them, but um, you deal with it, you'll get their phone number all the time. So I, I've done a bunch of testing on it, but honestly, like it just it, it's depending on what you want to do, right? So I, I get so many people that will download like a prop stream, right? And they'll, they'll spend it what like, I don't know, hundred bucks for it. They're like, shoot, I, I don't have 300 bucks to skip trace this cold calling list or do all like, mm -hmm. I got like a hundred bucks this month, right? My, my budget's a hundred bucks a month. 
for a lot of software as you pull, a hundred bucks really is not going to get you far because that's sometimes just the cost per month of the software. So if I pay for Deal Machine, I only have a hundred bucks. I might put fifty in a Deal Machine, then fifty, literally just on gas, and I can make it work a hundred bucks. Like I can make that work, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and I can get leads, deals, everything from there, right? If I true people search the phone, like it's hard for a lot of other softwares out there. Uh, mm -hmm. So I kind of want to like, you know, I've been telling everyone to go to Deal Machine for like three, four years. I just like just just go to Deal Machine, whatever. And I'm like, wait, I, I need people to get some free stuff while they do it, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and so that's kind of the point on it, right? Uh, but the thing is, like, if you only have a hundred bucks, like, there is a, a tool for you to get it going, right? Because people have jobs, uh, like, they can't spend all this time doing it by themselves. So it's like, I, I think that's why um, I think it's a good partnership. Why I'm kind of sharing it is because, like, if you only have a hundred bucks, every software, every guru tells you, like, it's not going to be the cure all, right? But for, like a hundred bucks. I think it's going to be the best way to, to spend a hundred bucks hands down. So that, that's kind of what I want to talk about today is because like, even with that low budget, you get MLS comps. If you're in a non-disclosure state, right. You can just pop people's things up. You're kind of not in the dark. Uh, that's, you know, I, I can rant about it all day, but uh, guys, you're not drawing for dollars enough. And if you're asking me how many drawing for dollars leads I need, the, the answer is always more. Okay. It, it's always more. So mm -hmm. as as you can. Yeah. Love that. I mean, I and appreciate you you spreading the word. Uh, you know, sharing sharing us all you know all these years too, Zach. And I mean, I think um, you know on our end too. Like you said, I mean, it's uh, you know in terms of just what makes us unique in general. I think it is. Yeah, it's the it's low cost piece. It's I mean everything we do. Again, it's our mission is to give everyone the power of real estate investing. Right. So with that mission, you need to be extremely easy to use, extremely simple, very much, you know, as low cost as possible, mobile friendly, like our mobile app is the most updated, the highest rated, the most reviewed out there. Um, our support team, our community, all of that together is, is really, I think what makes us unique, but um, yeah, we really hang our hat on, on that most rated and highest reviewed, um, you know, uh, uh, stat in general, I'm really proud of that. So um, I'm telling you, I didn't even know what deal machine was. Uh, when I started out wholesaling, but I started talking to people just around wholesaling when I started out. And I'm like, how do you get this deal? How do you do the, oh, deal machine. I drove it all. I'm like, what? This one guy, oh, I, I did 15 deals this year. I'm like, how? I'm like, deal machine. I'm like, what's deal machine? Like, <laughs> I, I, I didn't understand it. And then I look it up. I'm like, oh, let me talk to this guy. Right. And like, you know, day, like that's how I get this. Like, I didn't know about deal machine just because like, I want to like talk, like people just keep doing deals off. I'm like, all right, well, let me check this out. Right. And I, I think that's, kind of how we organically found you guys and mm -hmm. then i start using it doing deals from them like, okay deal so yeah man that, that's just kind of how i, I figure this stuff out but uh good yeah. question right here um let's see here so uh, we got someone in new york city right like so if i'm in new york mm -hmm. city and i want to do some power drawing for dollars like there what we do go. I do, right good question all right so you've got a couple options here um you know if you're in new york i would say uh, you know, you can either, you know, a, you know, uh, pull a list, which we were showing off there for, for a minute. So you can pull a list in any market. Um, B, you can, if you want to take driving for dollars as the strategy, you could hire a driver in another market, which we see a lot of people do that as well and go in and never just to show it all. <laughs> yeah. I, well, no, it's not, you know, no, no one virtually is like, you can hire a guy in like, you know, Kansas city, uh, mm -hmm. St. Louis to do that. And it, it's insane. Yeah. And you can just go in like this, this top right, right here where your profile is, click that, click team, just add that email, invite by email. And they're already in deal machine to add leads for you. you know, they can just Beautiful. log in and, and go that way. And um, so that's, that's one option. Or what's really, really cool. And this is always just fun and basically clicking for dollars. It's fun, simple, easy. It's, it's the same idea of driving for dollars and looking for physically like properties. That. Right. Um, but you can do it right inside the app. So let me try this here, Zach. Let me know. Can you see can you see this here hopefully yep um, okay cool right, yeah. there we go so let me expand this for you guys for dollars so, I, I like that there we go yeah Just i'm saying right. clicking for cash clicking for dollars there we go <laughs> uh and same idea like you can see the map you know moves as you move and you turn and you know very similar to how you would you know as you're driving around physically you know you click down the street and you can see and there's actually so to give a, a couple of pro tips uh for people in general too um, you know, virtual driving for dollars, this is something you can do, you know, in any market from anywhere from your couch, you know, if you maybe you have a, a really bad weather market, you know, maybe you, um, you know, especially in the winter, or maybe you've got a day job where it's just hard to drive during the day, hard to look at properties during the day, like this is a really, really solid way to do it. 
Well, if you uh, stop right there, I, I just I want everyone to understand mm-hmm. that little thing right there, photo taken. Yep. No one like ever has that. I, I just want to break that like that. It's in, that's probably the most important part when it comes to that. Yeah. I think that's where I see most people fail. That's a big pro tip. Like as you as you drive down the street again, like you're seeing the the route go behind you, so you know like where to go and where you know where you have gone and all that. But looking at this, like this photo taken right here. That, you know, I would say if you're in one of the top 50 to 100 markets, Google does drive your your market at once every year or so. So you're, you're highly likely in a market uh, if you're you know in that size uh, of a place that has recent photos. But that is absolutely key to know because like, hey, if you you know look at that that picture, um, you want to know, is this taken, you know, three months ago or three years ago? And, you know, even if it was taken three years ago, you're the deal's not necessarily, a, uh, you know, the lead's not necessarily. And he's popping in and out, but uh, pretty much like what he's talking about there is like, and know that, okay, right. you know, if this was in really bad shape three years ago and it has not sold since then, then, Hey, they're still owned by the same people. It might, might still be a pretty solid lead there. Um, if it has changed hands, if it has been sold since then, then, Hey, okay. You're probably not wanting to have that lead. So, um, you know, but, but the exact same thing of like, Hey, drive down the street, hit add lead and boom, you've got the pin popping up right there. So, um, awesome, man. So I, I'd say the, the virtual D for D, um, you know, again, uh, in, with any of these, with anything on, whether you're physically, physically driving or virtually driving for dollars, um, you know, the, use a couple of these things that I showed off here. Use the highlights button. Cause that's your, that's your friend of being able to use, you know, data to really help know where to drive. And you can even turn it on while you're driving um, this top left button right here. You know, you can hit that and say, yeah, just, you know, light up all the absentee owned properties around me. And that way, when you actually drive around and, and, you know, be able to, to, uh, you know, drive down the street, you can look and see and say, Hey, yeah. Like if I drive down here, I know this five one eight Oh, uh, right here, you know, click on that. That's a, a property that's absentee owned. Um, you know, so it helps kind of give you a little bit of, uh, of, uh, you know, information to know, Hey, this looks like a potentially pretty good, you know, potentially a good lead here. They, you know, the roof needs a little bit of work, you know, things like that. So, Awesome. You know, if you have that on, um, you'll be able to see, you know, every, you know, it's a green line behind you. Uh, if you, if you have driven it within the last six months, um, after six months, it turns yellow and after a year it turns red. So you can zoom out and look at the map and say like, Hey, where have I driven? Where do I need to drive? What, you know, really kind of use that as a way to plan your routes and just be really efficient. Right. Um, and then last but not least the, the driver, like adding drivers, uh, the driver recruitment, the driver training, all that stuff. If you're going to scale, like that's the best way to, to scale this list. So I love it. And I, I think one thing uh, that's pretty important, she kind of highlighted before I've had deals where like on three streets in a year, I've done like three or four deals. Right. And it's a mm-hmm. smaller market too. And the point is like, I, we have drawing for dollars leads where we call them up. They don't want to sell. Right. But we keep that list and we call it like three, four months later and then they want to sell. Right. It's mm-hmm. sometimes not about getting that list, calling them and say, no, it's gone forever. I'll drive for dollars next year. I think if you have a drawing for dollars lead, you should definitely every three or four months just re-hit that list. Um, mm-hmm. And I, I think that's one big mistake I think a lot of people make. And it's, it's always in that follow-up. Oh, yeah. I mean, we have plenty of people who they've, um, you know, used Deal Machine. They, they built a list a couple, even a couple of years ago and are revisiting those leads and getting calls from those people now, like people who, you know, they, the market's appreciated and they're, they're you know, ready to sell now. Um, so it, it uh, absolutely, uh, the, the goal there is to be able to market to them long term. Now, let me, I'll, I can share this, Zach, uh, for you guys. Like, I know I talked about that marketing mix of like short term and long term marketing mm-hmm. outreach, you know, putting putting together both of those things to really be successful. Um, I'll, you know, if I click on the leads tab right here, again, you know, these are all leads that I've added, whether it be through the desktop version or through my mobile app, you know, they, they sync up and all add right there. Um, but when looking at this, uh, when you click view lead, you can you get both of those options right here, you get the short term marketing outreach, which is skip tracing, which we've talked about a couple of times here. If you hit skip trace, it pings our database. And like you said, you know, it's, you know, we're, 
our, our data is, you know, you're not going to find anything better out there. Like there, there are really only a couple places that, that provide this type of data. And, you know, we just make it easy to, to be able to use that, to, to use it as a tool. Right. Um, but when you hit skip trace, it comes back and it will say, okay, here are phone numbers, email addresses, other mailing addresses, ways to get in touch with this owner. And that's what I mean by that short-term marketing outreach. It's you have quick response uh, options right here where you can go in, you can look and see, hey, here's a here's a potential uh, a deliverable email address. And hey, out of all, the, all these phone numbers, it'll come in and we give you premium data. We give you data around, is it connected? Is it disconnected? Is it on the do not call list? Is it landline, mobile? What's the caller ID? You know, it tells you all of that right there. So you can come in and see like, yeah, this number is connected. The caller ID matches the the name. It's, it's mobile is probably the best number. Like start there and, and you know, you've got, you know, right on the spot, one off skip trace, boom. You can make a call, make a text, you know, and, uh, you know, use that as your your first line of how to get in front of people. Awesome. Um, and then combining that. So that's the short term outreach. Combine that with your long term outreach where on this side, you've got the start mail button and, Start mail again, like, you know, the, the goal with this is to stay top of mind with owners. It's to come in and, you know, you've reached out to them. Maybe you left a voicemail, you texted them. Uh, maybe you left, you know, maybe you've reversed row for dollars and you left a sticky note on their door or a door hanger, maybe even knocked on the door, whatever, whatever you did. Um, hit start mail. And especially if they say like, hey, you know, maybe in the future, you know, now it's not the right time or, you know, anything like that to be able to say, oh, yeah, soon, you know, anything where they are, you know, don't have the quite the solid timeline yet for you. Hitting start mail inside deal machine, this is going to go in and it'll, the default is every 21 days, but it'll come in and this is where you can set it and forget it. Like this is how you scale your marketing outreach is by hitting send mail and you know, you can come in here, you can change the template, change it to any postcard on here and it'll automatically send these postcards to that owner and you know, repeat send. So that way, again, you're putting yourself in the right position. So that way, when they do feel that need, when they do have some, you know, some problem that you can come in and solve, like that they think of you, that they've saved your postcard in the pile, that they've saved your number, that they've, you know, put the postcard on the on the fridge. Like, you know, they are the, you know, they, they think of you first because you were right place, right time with that piece of mail that you sent. And I can customize that those dates, right? Yeah. So you can go in here, you can customize it right here or here, let me pause. So I don't actually yeah. send mail here, <laughs> but uh, this mail tab right here. So you can do a ton in the mail center. So you click on that in the mail center, you can see, you know, number of active leads, pause leads, all of that. You can see what mailers are scheduled to send out and what you've sent recently. So it's kind of your, your go-to place to, to manage everything that you've done right here. Um, and then inside of the mail, you know, here as well, you can go to postcards and clicking postcards, you can actually see we've got, you know, a, a ton of different templates that are default in here. And, you know, the, these different templates as well, these are the ones that, like I mentioned, Ryan Haywood, the guy who's done 400 deals using Deal Machine, he's just using these standard templates. He's going in, you can set your first choice or edit the design and get really specific of like the type of text you wanted to say, the picture, all of that stuff, and really use this as almost like a little mini Photoshop inside the app. Um, but really the idea behind this is, hey, you know, make it really easy on yourself. Just use the, the templates that are set up uh, for success right there. And you can even adjust the size. You know, you got larger postcards, you've got ballpoint letters where you can create uh, a handwritten postcard um, or handwritten letter and get really specific there. So um, in terms of the mail that you can send, you can get all kinds of, you know, creative and, and things like that to, to up your response rate. But in the end, like simply just hitting send mail and set it and forget it and let it, let it do its work that's going to put you in a position to succeed. Awesome. Cool. Awesome, man. Um, cool. Well, really the last thing I wanted to show off, um, unless, you know, there are other questions that, you know, I want to uh, be able to, to show off stuff for the last thing I want to really show off is, is in this leads tab right here. This is something that, you know, I would say is kind of that third step for people. Like you're, you're out there, you're either driving for dollars, virtually driving, using list builder, reverse driving for dollars. Like you're doing something to build a list then you are marking that list, you know, you're skip tracing, you're calling text, you know, door knock, you're, you know, sending postcards, you're doing all that. That's kind of phase two. Phase three of what we see being the, you know, uh, separating everyone who is doing this consistently, who are doing consistent deals. It's this tab right here. It's staying organized and really managing your pipeline of leads that you're looking at here. And this is the thing, like you've got a lot of powerful things that you can do 
in this view, like you can, you know, going into it, you can add leads and, you know, import a list. You can go in and actually export a list too, by just clicking that and hit uh, export leads as well. So you can kind of use this as a way to, to add and subtract leads. Um, I know we talked about tags a little bit there where you can go in and actually filter and say, yeah, let me filter by tags right here and by high priority and confirm that and, and see like, okay, how many leads that I tag high priority? Like, let me start there and call those leads first. Um, and you can, you know, send again, the one-off mailers or, or in bulk by just clicking that and send, you know, start mail in bulk. So you've got a lot of really powerful things you can do here. Um, I would say to stay organized, I think the biggest key is using the notes right here. And, you know, what you want to do to, to really uh, make that a, a simple process is, you know, say I go in, I, you know, filtered by high priority. I call this person right off the bat. I have a good conversation. I go into activity right here. I can hit add and then add note and add note. This is an easy way that you can really build that relationship with them. Like if they talked about their kids, put you know, notes in there about that. If they talked about the situation they're dealing with, you know, stay organized by putting notes in there for that. Like use this as kind of your go-to place to do that. Or even say, Hey, I left a voicemail today. Cool. Make it really simple and easy and just stay organized that way. So, you know, using the notes section is a really, you know, again, not, not rocket science, but it's making it easy for you to, to build that relationship with people and refer back to your notes anytime you talk to that owner. And, you know, you're, you're able to, to do that. And then in combo, also manage your pipeline through using the, the use of tasks. And, you know, you've got add right here and add task as well. These tasks, I mean, this is where you can go in and just say, hey, um, go on appointment today. Uh, do that. Cool. I have to do this, uh, you know, tomorrow. We'll say it's today at 4 p.m. All right, cool. Create that task for myself. And now I know that when I jump into deal machine, I'll look right here. I'll see my tasks up in the top right corner and I can click on that and see what I've got to do today. Okay, cool. I got to visit this property. I got to go on this appointment and I'm never going to miss a lead again. Like I'm going to use this to stay organized, to take notes, to add tasks for myself and really manage my pipeline, you know, as, as you would a business really, and make it so that way you are the one always following through, always able to, to, you know, do that thing that you're, that you tell that seller you're going to do next. Awesome. So cool. Um, let's see. Good question. List stacking Stevie James, but that is list stacking available. Um, yes, there is. So if you go in here, let me, uh, clear this out. So clear all cool. Um, you'll be able to see like, let me find a list that's got that on there for you. Here you go. So this list right here, you'll see these numbers pop up next to every single lead, right? Um, you've got like the ones right here, you know, from a lot of these, but this list, you, you can see twos and threes. That is the list stacking right inside the app. So when you go to that, you can click on that button and see, oh, this property was in both of these, le this, these lists right here. This property was in all three of these lists. This one's in all three of these lists. So, you know, if for those unfamiliar, like the idea of list stacking is that every single list that a property is on is another sign of motivation. You know, it's another sign that it, you know, they could have, you know, it's this one right here. It's, it's an owner type. It's uh, a particular owner type and equity percentage. It's, you know, certain units count. It's things like that, where if you import, you know, say for example, if you import a list of leads right here, you know, you imported a list from somewhere, then you drove for dollars and then you use list builder and say that property was on all three of those lists, you can click on that and realize, man, that's got a lot of different areas that I, that I have added this to. That's a highly, you know, potentially high motivated lead. And it's a way to really score those leads and know where do I start? What leads do I start reaching out to? Reach out to the ones that are on a bunch of lists. So. Awesome. Yeah. Do, do you, uh, I was going to say, do you talk about list stacking that much, Zach? I wasn't the. Yeah, I, I talk about it all the time. There we go. If you can add two motivating factors on a list, it's amazing. Yeah. So that all, all combines automatically right there for you. So that's all uh, inside the app and, you know, included with, uh, you know, with every, every deal, you know, deal machine starter gets that. So um, beautiful. And then, yeah, one thing I wanted to show really quick, if it's okay, I just have the app yeah. right here. I was going to show people what it looks like. If you can, you know, oh, yeah, comment, really. I turned my uh, location off so you don't see, you know, where I'm at, but uh, yeah, this is just like, I don't know. I don't know where this is at. I think it's Oklahoma, but like, it's pretty much the same as like, if you really look at uh, the web version, um, mm -hmm. I can kind of just, I can click drive, start driving. Then, you know, I just tap on there, pop it up. 
stuff. I mean, equity, what? Holy moly. That one's got no equity in it. But like, you know, I can tap on something like here, click it, right? Um, stuff pops up, right? So yeah, yeah it, it's, right? I mean, it's pretty similar. Yep, yep. Yeah, and you've got, yeah, the drive right there. Uh, you've got free free drive, virtual D4D. So you can virtual D4D on your phone from your couch like that. Um, or you've got planned route mode, which that planned route would be, um, that's driving the list. That's that's going yeah. in and when you hit that, you can just say, hey, which list do you want to drive? Boom, it'll you know take GPS to drive that list for you. Yeah, boom. So uh, yeah, I just want to show people real quick what the kind of the app looked like. Uh, it's very similar. Yeah, love it. Um, yeah, I've got, uh, to answer that, let's see, we've got, somebody asked about the referral code that's uh, scrolling across the bottom of the screen there. That's going to get you. Yeah, um, or you can use Zach, Z-A-C-H, if like mm -hmm. you just want to type stuff in, but um, DM yeah. Zach just kind of does it all for you. Yeah. The image is updated, um, you know, that again, every every property is daily daily updating in terms of the, the data there. Um, let's see, we've got, is there a CRM built in? I, you know, the really that leads tab is kind of the CRM, you know, ver, version of what, what people are doing to manage those leads. So they're they're in there, they're, they're assigning tasks, they're taking notes, they're filtering out leads, they're using it as a pipeline management tool. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, I think that answered most of the questions there. Yeah. Um, yeah. So guys, if you want to check it out, just go to dmzac.com. Uh, that's probably gonna be the fastest way to go try it out. And uh, yeah. what do you get with that? Yeah. So we got a couple options. I want to share uh, some fun stuff that we're going to be able to do here for, for this audience specifically. Oh, too. Yeah. So dmzac.com, they get $30 in free marketing credits if they go that route. So <clears throat> you've got um, those marketing credits that go towards the skip tracing. So that's a couple hundred skip traces for free. You've got, uh, you know, or, or postcards, it goes toward the postcards. So you've got like 50-ish postcards for free. Um, if you use dmzac.com, um, which you wouldn't get any of that if you just went through our website normally. Um, and it's a seven-day free trial too. So if you just want to try us out for free, get a bunch of free stuff, start talking, you know, directly to owners like this, start building that list, start reaching out to people, like just go that route. Um, if you are ready to really invest in yourself, really commit to like taking massive action and saying, Hey, I'm, I'm going to land a deal, you know, before the end of the year and beyond, like I'm going to use like Zach's free info that he gives out every single day. Like you guys pump out so much good stuff. Um, you're going to use what you did today or what you learned today, use this technology to really buy right. And, you know, really buy killer deals. Um, we did set up it's dealmachine.com slash Zach. So deal, dealmachine.com slash Zach. Um, that actually gives you all the free marketing credits um, and it, it's a one year of deal machine. So it's D for D it's virtual D for D up to 10,000 leads. Um, it's MLS data. It's MLS comps that I was showing off. It's all the data updating every day. Um, it's the CRM pipeline stuff. I was showing off like the list stacking, the tags, the tasks, notes, all that stuff, all of that for a year, which that alone is worth um, over $700. And then you also get our route tools upgrade for free for a year, which that's the route tracking, the highlights feature I was showing off, the driving a list, so reverse D for D. And that's all an upgrade. So if you do that, that's worth nearly $600 right there. So all of that in value that uh, we, you know, if you go to that link, it would be 590 total to, to get over $1,300 in value for, 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 you know, about over half off for the year. So for people who are like ready to fully commit, if you know that, I would say you're going to get a way better deal than anything on our site uh, if you go through that link. So it's just dealmachine.com slash Zach. Um, and, you know, I would say that would be, you know, the other route. If you're going to fully dive into this, go that way. Um, I will say one exciting thing, Zach, if you're up for it, I'd love to do a giveaway with that if you're, uh, <laughs> if that works, man. Sure. Um, so, so basically like, you know, if you're deciding, like if you're going to go that route, if you're going to, commit to yourself uh, from that perspective and purchase this before Monday. So we'll, we'll do the drawing on Monday. Um, and you've made the choice like, Hey, I want to, you know, go through this. And, and, you know, there were, you know, in, alone, like the, the ROI of this should be getting the deal itself. Right. But if you do go that route and do the dealmachine.com slash Zach before Monday, um, we will, I will randomly select one of the people who bought that deal and you'll get it for free. So we'll go through and I will refund your purchase. You'll get access to all of that still because you've said, yes, you've committed to yourself to making it to, to doing this. But um, I want to you know, surprise somebody and give them you know, free access and really reward those taking action. So, um, you know, I know you give a ton of free knowledge, man. I love like that you're you're 
TNS up to be a, a great tool to help people out and taking action on that knowledge. Um, and I want to be able to give that away to people too. So if you yeah. actually take that, that deal, I will uh, select one of you guys. We'll do a random drawing and on Monday morning, uh, somebody will get that for free. So Awesome. I love it. Yeah. But yeah, guys, like don't feel obligated. You have to go use deal machine to be successful. I, I always mm -hmm. tell everyone, like I always tell everyone, try the try free trial. Like if you don't want to try, like if you just want to just yeah. see it, just try it. And obviously like, there's a million ways to make a million dollars. This is just a tool. And if it's something mm -hmm. you want to do, I use it. You can use it. You can try it out for free. Um, but yeah. Awesome. So uh, dmzac.com awesome, or I got the link in there if you guys want to try out that offer. Uh, dealmachine.com slash Zach uh, for the software there. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. Someone's getting some free awesome. deal machine, so I'm happy. Yeah, man. Yeah, I want, wanted to give that away. They get it for a full year. So again, like you said, if you want to try it out, just do dmzac.com. But if you're like, okay, I want to fully commit this to it, like go this route, then just through our website because this is a, a literally a fifty percent better deal in terms of uh, of everything you get. So wanted to hook you guys up. Um, you know, hopefully, if you uh, didn't get to see this, uh, make sure to you know go go back and rewatch it. I tried to to give the full deep dive, like ultimate demo rundown of everything that we do. Um, is but, it, that's for um, a year, right? The uh, slash Zach. Uh, yeah, the, the deal machine.com slash Zach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. That'd be a full year deal machine. Um, and then, yeah, like I, I said, you know, Monday morning will be when we do the drawing. So, um, we'll do that giveaway then. And, uh, you know, excited to, excited to give somebody a, a full year of it, man. <laughs> and how much is that of the discount on the regular one? That's it's over 50%, right? discount. Yeah. 55% discount. Okay. So, Just want to make sure. Yep. Or share my screen. Yeah. The main thing is you'll get D4D or all the, all the stuff I showed off and all of the upgraded route tools. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, you've got driving for dollars. Oh, all right there. There you go. Yeah. So that deal machine starter, which is up to 10,000 leads for driving for dollars, virtual D4D, all the MLS data, the MLS comps, the CRM stuff, um, the route tools. So like route tracking, map highlights, drive a list, all of that. Um, and then the marketing credits. So um, yeah, wanted to hook you guys up. <laughs> awesome. I like it. So, uh, you guys check it out. And, uh, I think Matt's a pretty available guy. If you got questions about yeah. deal machine, right? Yeah. If you just, uh, Matt at dealmachine.com, feel free to throw that in the chat too. That's my email. Um, I'll, I'm a resource for you guys. So, you know, my, my whole role is to make you all more successful. So, um, you know, hit me up and I'm here to answer questions. So awesome. Is this it? Yep. That's it right awesome. there. Yeah. Okay. Check him out. Email me. Got any questions, but, uh, yeah, it's exciting. Matt, I really appreciate you coming on. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, we'll see uh, more of you on the channel. But yeah, I really appreciate it. Uh, check it out, guys. It'll be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, Matt, pre appreciate you hopping on, giving your time. And uh, yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, absolutely, man. Have a great weekend and uh, happy deal finding, everybody. All right. Have a good one. I'll talk to you later, Matt. I got I to gotta get this pump up song for everyone on here. So I know, man. All right. <laughs> I'll see you, man. Yeah. See ya. Boom. All right, guys. So yeah, check out dmzac.com. We're going to try Deal Machine out for free. One thing I'll tell you guys, you'll learn wholesaling for free. Go to freewholesaling.com. But guys, y'all been patient. Y'all ready to go. Guys, we paused the wake-up song till after because a lot of people hop on. They're like, oh, wait, let, let me see the tour real quick. Now we're getting the fun stuff, guys. Now we're getting the real fun stuff. So without further ado, let's get it going. Woo! Hey! Get the fuck out of bed, bitch. Go. Get up, get up, and they got gold on. Gotta wake up, gotta wake up, bitch. Get up. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. Get up. snap let's get it going guys we always got it you know what we got we're ready to jack it we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna get jacked up so i'm excited guys so what we're gonna do is i want to answer some just general wholesaling questions you guys have and uh yeah let's finish this uh live stream out with some questions guys because i always do that uh every single one just wanted to give on the example here kind of just a breakdown of 
drawing for dollars, uh, especially deal machine. So uh, let's get it going. Let's answer some questions. I always get asked a bunch of questions, but uh, yeah, so let's get it going. Let's uh, get some one-on-one -on -one calls in and uh, answer and get the questions going. So uh, yeah, guys, appreciate all the comments. Uh, thanks to Matt. And uh, yeah, so uh, another question I get always here is like, Zach, how do I hop on the one-on-one -on -one calls? How do you talk to you? How do I ask you the question on the show here? How does it all work? All you got to do is just go to Wholesaling House to sneak in for real. And what I do on every single one is I put a link on the top, always on the top, right here. Wholesaling House is for real. Right here, four hours ago. Click that. Stream our link is right on there where you can go talk to me. And uh, we'll talk and see it. So without further ado, let's get some questions answered. So uh, first one, hello. Yo. Hello. 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 Hi, Jack. Hi. Hello. Hi, what's up? How can I help you out? What question you got? Uh, actually, I started virtual wholesaling. I'm in Canada. And first of all, thanks a lot for providing so much uh, information and knowledge. Uh, I'm in Canada. I'm doing uh, wholesaling and investing here in Canada. I quit my job. I was uh, driving long haul truck driving. Uh, like I came to US many times. And uh, I do, uh, uh, now I started virtual wholesaling. I picked Memphis market because uh, after that I want to do investing also. I uh, pulled all the list from the prop stream and uh, I cold call all of them. Total, uh, like all the list and total numbers or contact, total leads were 7,655. And after that, I uh, I just got one lead and that uh, house is like a tree is fell on the house. And that's why uh, it's just a lead. I'm not going to make too much money. I'm following up with that seller. And uh, now I'm text blasting all the, all the list that I have. And I already pulled all the list from the prop stream. Now what I'm doing, I'm pulling, uh, I'm making that list from the, uh, you know, county, uh, the people who are behind on taxes. I'm yes. right now making that list. So what I do next, because once I got this list done, I'm going to skip trace. I'm going to cold call. After that, I'm going to do uh, text blasting. And if I didn't got any lead, any deal from there, what I do next, like I want to keep on taking action. Okay, well, that initial list you pulled a prop. What list was it? I uh, from prop stream. First, I started with bacon houses, and tired land houses. In Memphis. In Memphis. Okay. Did you do the filters at freeholding.com? We show you how to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched uh, like uh, all your videos from freeholding. Uh, free wholesaling account okay and though because i've uh, applied filter according to uh, like as you told me uh in the videos right and uh like uh the results uh the total leads that i got right from all the list first i started with vacant houses and tire landlord and then i skip traced and uh, then i cold call them let's, let's break down this Canada. list all right man so like i'm just trying to figure this out so what was the year of ownership on that list? Year of ownership, I applied five. Five years, okay. Yeah. Okay, and what was the skip tracing? I started with batch skip tracing. Okay, use batch. Yeah. And then, uh, so how many calls did you do? Like I called all of them. How many? Total was total is seven thousand six hundred and fifty five thousand. All right. Like, How many total. contacts from that seven thousand? Uh, what do you mean, like uh, by contacts? So, how many hellos did you get? Like, hey, I talked to you. I asked you if you're the owner. Are you interested? Okay, for that, I think I need to go into the reports in the uh, in the ready mode in the Zen call, right? You're on the yeah. You, you got to figure it out. Cause okay. I, I'm just... if, I mean, you're asking me number like questions for it. So I got, I got to get answers. Like, did you have like a, I'm trying to figure out if you had like a 10% contact rate or like a 30 to 40 or even like a 2%, right? Because like, these are all stuff I have to figure out if it's the list that's the problem. Is it the servicing that you have? 
is it ready mode that's the problem is it the script i i, I can't really answer this question unless I, I i just need data from it right so okay let's just leave the contact rate blank here i'm just trying to figure this out and what script did you use skip tracing is uh bad script. skip tracing and uh, cold calling is uh, ready script. mode script script okay uh i use your script uh like if somebody uh, uh picked the call then uh start with uh, like hello and then uh is this is what's whatever the like seller name is john is this is john and if says so, yeah sometimes like here in canada like cold calling doesn't work cuz we don't have like list we just blast or do I, door knocking yeah i know yeah. canadian whole something works so what did you yeah. what script was it that you used though like walk me through the script they say hello what okay. do you say yeah uh, hello uh, is this is john if they, if they, they say yes uh, this is lp i'm here from i just say just to make it uh, local i'm here from memphis and uh, looking to buy a couple of properties in the neighborhood and this is how i go and you know what like my accent is little obviously i came from india as an international student and my accent is a uh, little you can understand that and uh, they hang up really quickly oh no they don't hang up cuz your accent dude so this is why I, I try to go through this entire process to figure out what's wrong. You have two massive issues right here, like massive okay. issues. And this is why your, your results probably didn't work out. Okay. So let me write down these massive issues just so we can visualize this. All right. Number one, the most okay. important part, you have a bad script. You do not use the Zach script. All right. That was a bad script. Number one. All right. I've never taught anyone to say I'm looking to buy your house off the straight up. Like, that will get you hung up every single time. So okay. that is not a Zach script. Okay. Okay. But I That's number one. download it. Okay. You downloaded it? Did you go through the free? You don't download the script. The script on the third day wholesaling challenge and on the cold calling modules is two things. Are you the okay. owner and are you interested in on the property? uh actually uh, in the uh, i watched your video and uh, you said uh, when uh, you are calling to uh that video was pro probate list and when you are calling to somebody you're going to say cuz the uh, LP, are you saying that you know my script better than me oh sorry i would love to i, I do it even the most recent cold calling tutorial on the third day wholesaling challenge I mean, if you, I will bring it up right now if you really want me to, but I, I just, let's go through the 30 day wholesaling challenge. Let's do cold calling, cold calling a flip with Rick. Go through this real quick. All right. Let's see this one. Okay. Here we are. We are right here. Let's break it down. Let's go through the script, buddy. All right. Here we go. All right. So this is three months ago. When did you call this list? About a week ago. Okay. So here we are, the ultimate step-by-step -step cold calling guide. Step okay. one, are you the owner of address? No. But is is sure. Step two, okay, I'm are you interested in selling that property? Where on this tutorial does it say I'm looking to buy houses? Are you the owner? And are you interested? Mm. Where does it say I buy houses on this? Uh, 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 to be honest, I didn't watch this video. That video was for the probate, and I kind of picked well, that. Is this a probate script. list? Uh, I got it now. Sorry, no. I do. Apologize. You gotta go through freeholding.com. All right, let, let's let's. I, I don't want to harp on you on this. I'm just letting you know. That's Thank number you. one why it didn't work. And we can okay. debate it all the time, but number one's bad script. Number two is you okay. have a severe confidence problem. Okay? You have a severe confidence problem. And your confidence problem arises from you thinking that an accent's going to affect your results. And your, your accent doesn't do jack squat with your results. 
But you thinking your accent's affecting you subconsciously makes you sound subconsciously you're not confident, which people can sense the non-confidence over the accent all day. Okay. There are immigrants with way thicker accents than you that don't eat like barely know English that make millions of dollars in wholesaling and as a realtor, anything, then they have thicker accents than you because they have confidence. They don't have a confidence problem. They don't. And they have a really good script. So it's not the accent. It is the script and the confidence issue. That is the main reason why. So you're, at, you're coming to me. You're saying this is an important question. I just want you to know why it's not working. Okay. Okay. So let's kind of fix this. Like we, we can go cry all day about it, but let, let's, just, let's just do a solution, right? Let's make this yes. green for money, right? Number one, we are going to use... We're, we're going to use the two. Um, we're going to use the two t- two step script. So we're going to do. Uh, we're going to do three things. Three things. All right. Screw it. We're going to do two, three things. All right. Number one, we're going to do a. We're going to use the two two step script. Okay. Okay. What's the two step script? Okay. Do you know what the two step script is? Two steps script. Yes. Step one, are you the owner of the property? Step two, are you interested in selling that property? Okay. Go to freeholcing.com for it. Number two, we are going to be confident. Okay. Okay. What does that mean? Nobody cares about your accent. Okay. I'm literally speaking to you in English. I understand you perfectly. Okay. Like we're, we're, we're not having a communication problem, all right? So yeah. your accent doesn't mean anything, all right? Okay. Okay, the previous, uh, the first lady of the United States in the last administration had an accent. No one cared, okay? Like nobody cared about her accent, all right? So you can be in the White House and have an accent, all right? Like it doesn't matter, okay? So it's okay. it's not, okay, That that's not a problem, all right? Number three, most importantly, this is going to be key to you, Okay. We're going to go after more motivated lists. We are not going to call 7,000 lists and then say we have a problem after we call 7,000. That's, that, that's like a ridiculous amount. All right? That's, that's like ridiculous. We are not going to go after 7,000, all right? We're going to be pulling. I think you already know. What, 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 what's a really good cold calling list? What's the really good call? Cold calling list uh, script. Okay, list. Yeah, what's a really good cold Probate. calling list? Probate. Uh, as you, yeah. Tell me what other ones. Uh, the second one is pre foreclosure. Pre foreclosure. No, not for calling. Not for calling. Uh, well, let's do it together. Second. Code violations. Code violation. Yeah. Basically, like I, I can sum it up, just government lists, right? Yeah. So we we at most at most a thousand would be like the most you, you'd have to call, right? So that is six thousand less calls. Six thousand less calls we have to do yeah. with a better script. You're gonna be fine. All right. Um. Like it's it's not rocket science, right? We we're gonna add the water shutoffs. You can add leans. I mean, there's I think of all the lists you can possibly pull, right? They're all yeah, there. List taking. You don't have to know. You just you 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 add that, and then you call that list. You add this. You call that list, right? There's so many. You can do this Fizbo's if you really want. If you really, I'll call Memphis Fizbo's and close a forty thousand dollar deal tomorrow, right? Like I can do it. Like you can do it too. Like these are all lists you can start doing. So I think so many people get this really caught up. This is going to be your like your success formula right here. Okay, like you don't need to complicate this stuff. Okay. So yeah, man, you're asking me. This is the, like this is the stuff it takes to be successful. Um, I wish you hopped on here for your cold call. Like, hey Zach. 
I'm going to start. Wait, you start. Wait, hold on. You said you called all these lists last week. Yeah, and that's because I'm 7,000 leads last week. Yeah, and that's the thing. uh, Like, um, yeah, yeah, uh, that's the thing. I I would love to to know your contact. Because, yeah, uh, here uh, is uh, my laptop. And that's the thing uh, leads here. And this is because I'm new to cold calling and new to these softwares. And I like when I pull the let's say I pull the vacant houses list from the prop stream, and I skip traced, and then I uploaded here in the ready mode, and I uh, like hit the ready button, and whoever answering like I'm um, uh, having a conversation with them, and uh, nobody was like uh, ready to sell. Can you see? This is, yeah. Yeah, I, I, no, I, all right, dude. Tell me what the con. Send me, email me over a screenshot. I'd like to see it. Okay. Okay. All right. But basically, what you're doing right now is you're asking me, "Hey, I didn't get a deal after a week. What's my issue?" And I told you, I, I told you the main issue, yeah. right? So obviously, you're not going to drop another what eight, nine hundred bucks on skip tracing for new leads, right? That's kind of ridiculous. I want you to get back to me. I'd love to. I per- like. I'm not saying this, but like, I just want to know. How many con- How many pickups and you calls did you have? I feel like a lot of these people hung up because you weren't confident and you had a bad list. That's the truth. Um, and then we can add a more motivated list. I think you're going to be fine. So uh, I think that's all you needed to start doing. And then you can start getting a little better. Dude, it's those little tweaks that change everything. Uh, so yeah. And it, so I'll call these uh, same homeowners again. Sure, if you want. Right, because I, uh, as I choose Memphis market, right, so I already pulled all these lists. So obviously, uh, if I'm pulling them again, it will be same contacts, right? So I'm going to call this same list again, right? I want to know what your contact rate is. It it will be under reports, under the audit. Yeah, send it to me. I just want to know because I want to see if. I've had Zen call issues. That's why I don't use Zen call anymore. So I, I don't want there to be any Zen call issues. And that could be another reason why it's not working, right? Like it's just not contacting. So, because are you, are you using a 12 line dialer probably? Uh, I dropped that to three. So I'm not, okay. I can't miss oh, on any. 7,000 to three lines a lot. So I personally find your contact rate and start using that. I think it's going to help you out a lot. Okay. Yeah, because uh, I contacted to their support and they said uh, fix it at three. That will be good. Don't take it to 10. So I uh, just uh, put it at three. So for now, uh, uh, I'm going to, if you want, I can change uh, from Zencall to to another software. I think you I use best gonna... idea, right? Dude, I don't think that's going to be the the, the cure all for you, man. So let's let's change the script. And let's see if that moves okay. it. All right. I want to know what your contract rate is. All right. So let, let's let's do this really quick. All right. Let, let's just do a quick because I I want to I want to coach you on this call because I don't want you to waste your time. I don't want to waste my time with this. All right. Yeah. I just wrote this down. Really simple. All right. This is the script. This is it. Like I, this is. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna practice the script. All right. We're gonna practice this really quick, all right? Just so we don't get this too confused. So let let me hear you call me on this one, and then we're gonna get better at this, all right? And I want you to know, do you think I care? I l- let me ask you a question, LP. Do you think I care that you have an accent? Uh, no. No. Do you think it's gonna affect anything? Do you think no. I know millionaires in wholesaling that have thick accents? Like uh, I, uh, do you think I know them that, on my phone right now I, that I talk to on a regular basis? Do you think I do? I uh, do understand. And now I uh, got that in mind. It's like and a confidence problem. So you yeah. know for a fact that I don't think it's going to affect me. So I, since you now know that it will not affect me, I want you to go through the script right now. Mm-hmm. Have authority in your voice and confidence that exactly 
I know how to help you out. All right. I want you to have the confidence. All right. That you need to be like, you need to have confidence on. So let's go through the script right now. Okay. So, um, like I'm the buyer, so I'm going to call and you will be the seller, right? Do it. Okay. 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 Hello. Are you the owner of one, two, three main street? All right. Let's do this one more time. You got to let me answer. Don't get too aggressive with it. Let me answer. Right. Tell me. Hello. Hello. Who's this? Are you the owner of one, two, three main street? Yes. Are you interested in selling your house? Possibly. Who is this? Yeah. This is LP here from hometown home buyer. Okay. Um, uh, me and my partner, we're looking to buy a couple of properties and uh, we saw your property. Uh, that's the thing. Cause I don't have that script uh, right now. Can you can we You're start gonna, again? Uh, let, let me get, let me write to you script. All right. Do you know how to screenshot on your computer and stuff like that? Yeah. All right. So let's go through the script really quick. All right. This is really simple too. Okay. Like I just want you to go through this really quick and we can kind of break this up. All right. When you're talking to a seller, it is all about four things. All right. Go through freeholding.com. It's all in here. M yeah, C- condition, motivation. So you know this, but you didn't do now, now you say you don't know the script, right? So when you're talking to me, why am I looking to sell the property, right? Can you tell me a little bit about the house? When do I want to sell it? And how much do I want to sell it for? Yeah. We have to focus that conversation on those four things. That's the script, man. Yeah. Nothing and actually, uh, I... I, uh, when I watch your videos, uh, I, I have like, uh, there are four main things, motivation, condition, timeline, and price. And now as I'm talking to you, I'm kind of nervous. So that's, Why are you uh, nervous? What am I going to do? Am I going to say no, that I don't want to sell my house and you lose the deal? There's no deal to be had here. Okay. We're just practicing. Yeah. Right, man. Yeah. So, uh, now uh, I'll uh, come back to me and we can work on this next week. You need to get some practice. Um, you're on, you're on the right yeah, track. Yeah. You just got to understand what to say. You'll be fine. Yeah. And, uh, uh yeah. As, thanks a lot for the help. And, uh, well, I'll go through, uh, this script first, then I will start cold calling. And, uh, obviously I'm along with it. that. I'm sorry. I want you to go talk to me before you start doing some massive calling because I want to make sure you're doing it right. Okay? Okay. Got it. It's like I can yeah, tell you now. not to put diesel gas in your engine because it's a regular gas car. And then you do it anyway. And then you come back to me and say, why is my, my car didn't, my car's not going? And and then I'm like, well, why did you do that damage, right? I, I'm going to stop the damage before you do it. So hop back on. I want to help you out. And you'll be fine, mate. You got to practice this, dude. So just remember, and you're, like all you got to remember, you know, the two things, the two scripts, right? Are you the owner and are you interested? And then MCTP. And then anything in between that, you got to kind of be natural on it, right? Like, hey, this LP, I'm looking to buy some properties for cash. That's what I do. You're adding too much like filler stuff with that original script. Use the script you got and you'll be fine, man. Got it. And people hang up really quickly because <laughs> most of them, they are it's like not sucks. interested in selling. Your script stinks. No, see, this is, you're getting in your head right now, man. Like this is the problem, dude. Okay. Like if I thought everyone hung up, I, I would, I, bro, like I would be doing no deals, right? It's, it's a confidence thing, man. You're having a confidence issue and I don't know how to solve this. You just have to start calling people because like, Call the Zillow for sale owners because they want to sell their property if you really want to get some confidence on. But like, if you are thinking right now that your accent's affecting your success, it's not. I promise you that. Okay? There's people with thicker accents in wholesaling that make more money than me probably. I don't know any, but probably are. I know in real estate in general, oh yeah, hands down. Okay? So stop getting in your head, man. Got it. 
All right. That's all I can I'm tell you, man. Like, I just, I, you're fine, yeah. man. You, you just got to calm down, follow the script, be confident, have some authority, and you're good to go. Okay. All right. Okay. And uh, I really appreciate uh, your time. Uh, can I ask one more question? Yeah. I have a question for you then after. Yeah. Where so for it? now, uh, uh, as I uh, like, I'm making that list of uh, tax uh, people who are behind on their tax, like tax lien from the county website. So keep on doing that and make that list and then skip trace it. Because, uh, I thought like uh, I'm contacting less honor and I need to take more actions. Say that one more, wait, say that one more time. Uh, like, I thought like I just got one lead and I need to take more actions. So what I now am doing, I'm making a list from the county website for the people uh, who are behind on their taxes. Yes tax delinquency list, okay? And uh, after uh, like uh, for an, after that, I'm gonna skip trace and I'm gonna call. And that's the thing I was thinking that I'm taking less action. So I'm gonna call call more contacts. I'm like, I'm gonna call cold call all, every day. Dude, it's, it's, I would rather go after more motivated list than calling a bunch of people. And that's the honest truth, dude. Okay. That's it. Okay. Like I could spend 10 hours walking to my aunt's house or just go in my car and drive like 30 minutes. Like, oh, but I spent more time doing go, traveling. No, it doesn't matter, dude. Okay. So you're in your head, man. Just know yeah. your accent doesn't affect you. Is there anything like in your head that you think you can't do this because it's like, I, I don't know what I can bring up more stories that people had no money and then got the first deal in a month and changed their life. Like I can do more of that if you want, but like, I just, I'm trying to figure out what's the issue here. No, I really appreciate that. Uh, you got kind of uh, clarifying about the accent. Cause I was thinking about the accent. So it's really about the confidence. Yeah. What's your, uh, what's your name LP? Uh, my full name is Love Pete Singh. LP is uh, just uh, so, short form. Say it one more time. Love Preet Singh. Love, love Preet Singh? Singh? Yeah. Why don't you just tell people your yeah. name's Love? Make it short. Love? Oh, maybe. I think that oh, doesn't man. sound good. Like LP. Do whatever you want, man. Love is an actual, like, people, it's a unique name. It's cool. Unique names are cool. Do you know who has a really unique name that's really cool? Drake. Uh, in, He's Canadian. In my country, like, yeah, it's very Canadian. common to have a name like, you know. yeah. It's cool. No one really has a name Drake. Drake's kind of cool. Connie is a cool name, right? Like, unique names are fine, man. Okay. Think about it. Okay, got it. Yeah, All right, man. for now, I'll focus on uh, script and uh, then because uh, of uh, calling a bunch of people not going to make sense if I'm not confident. Confident? Work on it? You'll be fine. Okay. Okay, right. Jack. Uh, once again, really appreciate time and help. No worries, man. Keep it up. Thank you. Oh, All right. Next one. Ravon. What's up? Can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's up? How can I help you out? So uh, I recently got prop stream uh, and the problem I'm having is especially when I'm trying to skip trace using true people search.com. The problem is that there's like eight or seven phone numbers and I'm kind of confused which one to call or should I call all of them? And also, call, prop, huh? go ahead. And then also on prop stream, it shows the person's name, which is pretty nice. But the thing is when you search up the address on prop stream, there's like a different owner's name under the address. So I'm, I'm like, kind of confused i already started on wednesday i got zero responses but i probably because i'm calling the wrong number it's hard to choose like which one's the right number what list huh what list uh vacant houses did you use the freelancing.com filters yeah 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 i did that okay. like all equity right. and all that all right and i would use the top three ones for prop stream don't don't complicate it what do you mean by the top three phone number one two and three 
Prop stream. Are you talking about True People Search? Wait, you're talking about where do you just you skip chase on True People Search? Yeah. Just do the wireless ones. Wireless ones. The top two wireless ones, and then if the top one is a landline, add that one too. The top two wireless ones. All right. Yeah, and then I would use the landline for the third one if you can't get a hold of somebody. Wireless, wireless is usually the best one on True People Search. Uh huh. But some old people are older and they love their landlines too. So. All right. And if they don't pick up, can I just keep on calling until someone does out of that list or no? No, uh, the top three, you're most likely going get to get to somebody. Leave a voicemail. I'd be good to go. Okay. Because I, I left like a voicemail and like they hadn't like picked up. So I'm probably it's me or something or I'm calling the wrong number. But... Sometimes you got the right one, you know? Right. Um, if worst case scenario, dude. Yeah. I would probably, there's an email attached on it and mm -hmm. I'd probably just copy that email. And then you, I think you do like what? 50 to 100 cold emails a day on Gmail. Gmail. Okay. Make a template, send it out, you'd be good to go. Okay. And then also, is it okay that uh, for some, if they don't respond, like if I call them and I don't respond, I text them, but sometimes they don't reply back. Should I, how like often should I keep texting back? Uh, do one more after a couple of days and then one after a week, and that should be it. One more after a couple of days and one more after a week. One more. Okay, one more. Okay. Oh, I see. And then do you do you know like any other like free skip tracing sites? I know I tried white pages, I tried uh Scopio or Studio. TruePeopleSearch.com. That's just true people search yeah, com. That. Oh, okay. I see also our vacant house is like a good uh list, especially for like prop stream and yeah, what market is this again? Huh? What market is this in again? I'm doing it in Wayne County, Detroit. Okay, and you're in and I live in California, yeah. Yeah, all right. Are you in Orange County? No, no, I live in San Diego. Oh, yeah, okay. That's why I, I, I have to do virtual. Yeah, Wayne's going to be... TrivialSearch.com is going to be the best one there. Okay, and like Vacant House is... Because I, I think Vacant House is a good... Uh, I like Vacant. Right? Just be careful with the winter over there. But yeah, you should be fine. Oh, okay. But, all right, then I'll just keep on starting and hopefully... Also, is there like a script uh, skip tracing too in prop stream or no? Like, can you skip uh, yeah, them? there is. Oh, there is. Yeah, it ain't oh, free I, though. <laughs> oh, I think it's like twelve free. cents. So, um, yeah, if you're on a budget, I'd probably just use the Trivial Search or use the prop stream one. Okay. Yeah. All right, then I'll just keep uh, keep on continuing doing that. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much. Keep it up. Thank you. Go. All right. Next, we got Robert. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, I have a couple of questions. Basically, I started cold calling and I uh, ran through the two question script. I did the MCTP. And essentially, my question is, is like, what if I get a yes? And, you know, they give me like, oh, yeah, I want to sell the property for like 100K. Um, do I run the comps really quick and give them an offering price? Or do I just call? I'll just call them because what I did, I was just like, all right, cool. I'll just run this you know, with my cash partner, call you later, you know, and then that way what I'd figure out the, the, uh, the repairs, they get boots on the ground. All right. Let's go back to this tutorial video. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what I did. I ended up just get the price. I didn't even do an offer price. Oh, right, look right there. The script's right there. Thank you so much, Mr. Seller. And if it's okay, I'll call you back and look at everything and see if it'd be a good fit for me to buy. Yeah, that's that's what I did. So you don't do offer. You just you gather information, call back. Uh -huh. And then from there, you do the comps and everything like that, obviously, right? Okay, okay, cool. So yeah, do the comps, but after um, they're interested and they're pretty much qualified for me to a point, yeah, right? Yeah, because the other thing that I was thinking, I was like, all right, what if they're like lying to me and then, you know... I have to like get boots on the ground to then verify like, okay, there's actually no roof leaks. Cause Dude, I'm virtual too. At so. that point, man, if you lock it up for a hundred and there's a massive issue that they didn't even know about, you just get a price reduction. Yeah, and they yeah. wouldn't be mad. Cause like, Hey, you told me there's no leak. There is a leak. So we're going to have to be at this price. Okay. And Don't then be uh, like, because there's a leak, is it okay if we're at this price? No, because there's a leak, we're going to be at this price. If you say yeah, it with yeah. authority, they're like, Yes, sir. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And dude, most people like people are reasonable, man. Like I know it's always important to be a man or woman in your word, but I say in the offer, hey, as long as there's no crazy thing, like you saw me on Tuesday say this, right? There's no crazy like 
ha ha like termites or something nuts, I can be at this price. But if something mm. bad's happening that we don't know about, I'm going to have to be lower. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. yeah, makes yeah. Sense. And then you should only send boots on the ground once they have the contract signed. Yep, signed. Okay. And then um, also, too, I was getting a couple callbacks, and I was, like, trying to figure out, like, where they're calling from or what their name was or what property. How do you, like, you know, like, pick, like, follow up with that? Like, oh, yeah, yeah you know, like. So, like, when they call you because you called them, what like, they're, huh? What list? High equity. For the high equity, um, I, I'm just be honest with you. Because that was a really a quick search, like on my it's a Excel. Big one. No, it's not like you can have like a list on the podium or something like that. Um, or like a Google Excel. So honestly, what I do, like, hey, I was calling people in blank blank city. All right, where are you virtually wholesaling in? North Carolina. North Carolina. So let's say you're doing Charlotte, okay? Which mm. hopefully you're not. Are you doing Charlotte? No, no, no. <laughs> Good. Good. All right. So, uh, <laughs> hey, I'm actually calling people around Charlotte. And we're looking to buy some more properties. Uh, are you looking to sell your house? Okay. Uh, no. Uh, okay. No big deal. Yeah. I was just calling some people around. I just had a list of properties we might want to be buying. Met our criteria. And we're just saying, oh, you are looking? What? What's the address? Okay. okay. Perfect. All right. Cool. And then the other last two questions uh, for foreclosures, I'm looking for like 30 days or more, right? Before auction. Yeah, it's got to be over 30. Okay. I don't know the uh, foreclosure process for whatever certain city you are doing in North Carolina. Don't tell me because I don't want people to be going after it. But mm. I would I would look up how the foreclosure process works there. If you don't, um, I would just try to contact people around and just kind of see what it is. Yeah, because I watched the video of uh, judicial or non-judicial. Uh, Dude, it's still different, man. Every county is weird, man. Like yeah. okay. in my city, there's places where no one paid taxes for five years. And now the auction's happening after five. And then one, even in my own city, like there's one in another city over like 15 minutes from me where it's like, uh, if it's been like a year, boom property's auctioned off right so it goes by cities or it goes by counties it's weird dude because sometimes the bank doesn't want to do the process right for a pre-foreclosure if it's a bad bank a good bank mm -hmm. uh i can't say this one bank there's this one really dirty bank and i'm gonna get sued from them if i say it so i can't say their name but if you don't pay like three months three to four months like they're 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 nasty right they'll get you out quick okay um, so how do i find out just like a google search or like a they're banks man just they're all individual the corporations bank. Okay. Cause I was like, that's my next question is like, when I like call these people, what I essentially it's what I call the seller, what I call the, the bank or the lender. Uh, I would call the seller. And then from there you get permission to get the payoffs, the auctions, but usually the seller has all the information. Okay. Yeah. And then um, if they do have like a loan or like a lien, essentially um, the, that amount, let's just say they owe like 10 grand would um i i wouldn't have to be responsible for that right it would be it would nope, just get nope. cut off of whatever they get from selling yep. the house that's it so if you ever want to explain to somebody like uh, I'm, I'm not going to whiteboard but like you buy it for 100 mm. you're going to net 90,000 at the end mm. of this because you got to pay 10,000 off of there oh but i don't have $10,000 robert it's okay you don't owe any like you only owe 10 grand mm. actually oh my gosh i got Right. the end buyer would yeah just i would ha I, I hate explaining this but i do remember how many times on a pre-foreclosure that i have to explain this to a seller so i'd rather you get it really quick nothing for you but like i'm a visual learner so mm -hmm. let's say sally she uh has a she has a sixty thousand dollar loan right from the mortgage right that she hasn't paid okay yeah she owes 60k on it and then she is behind also three thousand dollars in back taxes right so this means basically that she's like robert how much would i get net at the end of this like I, i'm confused i don't have three thousand dollars to pay at the closing i have zero dollars and you know for a fact this deal will be an easy deal at uh 95 right you know at 95 any cash buyer will pay for this right that's a great deal mm -hmm. so you explain to her well what price do you need to sell it for right and she's like, you know, at 80. And you know you're going to make 15. So you explain to her at $80,000, which is you're going to get, we're just going to minus off 63000 which will equal, oh God, 17000 I've 
dude, I've been taking a math class in a hot minute. Um, 17 grand is basically what uh, she will net, right? Yeah. She'll net seventeen thousand dollars. Yeah, that's what so I thought. You don't have to pay anything out of you will net seventeen grand. That is what you're getting if you sell it for eighty. Yeah, because I'm not responsible it. for her actions. Yeah. You're not. And she yeah. has to pay that. Now, hear me out. This is where I want you to understand. If she comes up to you and says, I don't want to pay you know what, Robert, eighty doesn't work. Uh it it you know what? Or she says I don't know the taxes. All this is so much. Like I don't want to deal with this. You're like, you know what? I can't do eighty, Robert. You say this is your Hal Mary, all right? You know what? Um, let's call her Sarah. You know what, Sarah? Let's do this, okay? How about we do? Since you can't do eighty, how about this? How about we do eighty thousand, and I'll take care of the taxes. I'll take care of the taxes. So you'll net. Twenty thousand dollars. I'll just pay the taxes out of my end. That's creative financing. No, nope. no, okay, no. She owned that twenty k. How this works in wholesaling? Like, see, you think it's this crazy creative finance guru schmoo thing? No, it ain't. You would net what fifteen grand, right, of mm -hmm. assignment fee? Yeah. The, the title company is just going to minus you off three grand of your assignment fee, and then you're mm -hmm. just going to get a twelve thousand dollar one. Okay, so That's when it. I when I do call these foreclosures, should I ask them like, Oh, like how much do you owe? Do you owe? And you know, I, I would get some information first and then get into it. Okay. Cause you okay. have it all on prop stream. Okay. Between you and me, man, does it matter how much they owe? It really doesn't like, unless this number is way too much. This number is way too much. It doesn't really matter. If they owed 50, does it matter? Do they owe 70? Doesn't matter. Not really. Okay. Because this number right here doesn't change, right? This number don't change at all, right? What the house is worth to a cash buyer doesn't matter. It doesn't change at all. Okay. So that's the way I do it. So it just it's not creative financing. Your your fee would be 15K. You're just gonna have to take out three thousand of that. But I tell but you, yeah, man, to, like take the deal. I right. have saved so many deals doing that. Mm -hmm. Cause like the taxes just stress them out. And it's it's actually a win win, right? They yeah. would rather say yes to that than that than you offering them eighty three thousand. Yeah, they and would then, rather uh, you just do that. Okay, yeah, and then the very last question is: uh, Can you wholesale like the um, already renovated houses? Yes, I I actually have some vlogs on this. I've done this before. Okay, and what you have to understand about sellers is they either want to they either want to sell it, and you're gonna make you make money in wholesaling if the seller either has a problem with the property or a problem with themselves, right? Mm. Only thing. So if there's no problem in the property, we got to focus on them, right? Mm. And so I've always made money on properties that are really nice or clean, not even renovated, but just like clean. Like, you know, you know, old people, like yeah, yeah, yeah. they don't touch a house, but like, it's not updated, but it's not bad, right? It's weird, right? They, they you, kind of you still like calculate like if there's like the old lady has like this house, she has it's it's clean, but it's not like up there's to no date. There's no problems. It's just not up to date. It's like she bought this thing in the nineties and she hasn't touched it, right? Yeah. Would you the still main, calculate the repairs for that? There's not really repairs, right? Like there are, but like you know, it's just not updated. So uh -huh. you just what's the ARV and then how much would it cost to update that? You you can really get it that complicated. The most important part you got to do is just focus on her. Or him. Like, hey, why do you want to sell this property? You you know, you should list this thing. Mm. I don't I just I just want to get rid of it. Like I don't want to go through the realtor or anything. I just want to move. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we just buy this thing cash. What works for you? Mm. So if Mr. Miss Seller, if I was able to just buy this thing in two months, you don't deal with all the craziness with the with everything, closings realtors walkthroughs all this insane stuff and if i was able just to buy this thing i mean what works for you i do it all cash yeah yeah well what if i pay closing costs can we do this price if we play closing yeah you, know, you know the game you focus on her and just getting rid of the property then on the uh property right because if you focus on the repairs and how much no okay because she knows the house is fine that's it okay and then, um, yeah, for when I'm doing these calls, like, do I just only log it on Podio for everyone that's like a lead or do I just if, put like a call? The this rule person? is 
if somebody wants to sell their property, then put them in Podio. Okay. Cool. Ready? Then, Ready for this? Uh, hey, yeah. hey, Robert, are you looking to sell your house? Yes. Will you do this price? No. Okay, well, I'll follow up with you. Okay, so just still if they just in. want to sell, dude, put them in there, and then okay. just keep relentlessly following up with them. Okay, cool. Uh, and then, yeah, I guess like one thing too for Arizona, they ended up uh, a couple months ago. Um, they ended up like on their government like website. They put like a new like wholesaling uh, disclosure. Have you read about that? Oh yeah. Is that so? How does that is like? How do you disclose that you're a wholesaler? You just put it in the contract, or you tell them it's like, intent, dude? Huh? I'm not a lawyer, but it's all about intent, and I've talked to plenty of lawyers. When and I put a property under contract, I intend to buy it with my with my partner. We go have these, or okay. I intend just buying it for myself all cash. Okay, so I can just. Use your... I'm not telling you what to say, but sometimes mm -hmm. I intend to buy it myself, and then I'm like, you know what? Mm. I don't want to buy this. I'm just going to give it okay. to my buyer, my cash buyer. I intended to buy it myself, but things changed. I'm just going to give it to my buyer. Okay, cool. My intention was to buy cash myself. Yeah. So right. yeah. how does this work? You could have a hard money person that could back you up if you were to theoretically wink, wink, buy the house all cash. You just get a loan on it, right? Mm -hmm. You don't need other funds. You just have a lender ready to buy it with you. And then maybe, you know, you're, you're like, you know what? I don't want to buy this thing anymore. But, you know, I'll just give it to my partner. Your intention was to buy it with that loan, right? Yeah. I'm not telling you what to say. I'm not, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not a lawyer, financial advisor, or anything like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's all about yeah, what yeah, you're I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Get it. I'm totally. saying it for everyone around here. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a group and I can, just, I can just use that con your contract, the purchase and sale, and the assignment one. Make sure the title company is okay with it. Okay. Yeah, because you don't want to bring that signed agreement to a title company. They say no, and then you're screwed. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, if they're investor friendly and they're familiar with assignment contracts, should we get to go? Yeah. Cool. All right, Zach. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Do you have any uh, homework? For you? Yeah. Talk to more sellers. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. I was just using a Google number just because right now, like, I'm trying to figure out which one to, like, use. Just Google. Uh, just Google. And then I'm only limited to like one phone for Google. So it's like, how do I, I can't, I tried making another account, but it's like, I can't cause it's like already linked. Google cares about IP addresses, right? Okay. So just get like a VPN or something. You can do that. But that's kind of confusing too. A computer as an IP, an iPad as an IP, a phone as an IP. Cool. A lot of things will have IP addresses everywhere, man. Think about it. Sick. All right, man. Thank you so much. Right. Appreciate it. Guys, I really appreciate it. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. That is how you deal with uh, Deal Machine. That is how I'm trying to answer as many questions as possible, guys. Sorry if I can get to everyone today, but I'll tell you straight up, I'm going live on the Zach and YouTube channel on Sunday. And I'll tell you straight up, if you want to talk to me, I'll probably have an entire hour and a half of just one-on-one -on -one calls on the Zach and YouTube channel. So if anyone's on here that didn't want to talk to me, talk to me on Sunday. I'm going to buy Keaton's uh, PC setup right there. He's got a lot of lights going on there. I want, I want to see it. But uh, yeah, I got to hop off today, guys. But I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Check out dmzack.com. Remember, learn wholesaling real estate for free at freewholesaling.com.